contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more. Hey, girl. Because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at TotalByVerizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Over the years, you've brought them into your home. You were prescribed opioids after the C-section. When Dad injured his back. When your basketball star tore his ACL. Opioids helped with the pain. And you held on to them, just in case. But did you know holding on to unused opioids puts your family at risk? Opioids are powerful, pain-reducing prescription medicines. But most people who are prescribed opioids don't finish their prescriptions. So millions of unused opioids are sitting in homes across the country. And tragically, more than 100 Americans die every day from overdoses involving opioids. What can you do to protect your family? Remove the risk of unused opioids from your home. Pills, patches, or syrups in drawers, purses, and cabinets. Anywhere they might be hiding. To find out how to dispose of them properly, visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRNN. Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won 3 of 4. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's 1-2 in a row. They're 34-35. Ninth in the East with a 3.5 game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 2-10 Central tip-off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11:15 a.m. tip-off. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get seventy-two hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. The Triple Berry Cafe of Crystal Lake offers incredible breakfast and lunch options for you, and now the coffee bar is open for you to enjoy. Stop in and enjoy a relaxing cup of coffee in a peaceful setting, and if you're hungry, the Triple Berry Cafe is ready to provide you with homemade goodness. Enjoy omelets, skillets, pancakes, crepes, waffles, and much more for breakfast. Stop in at the Triple Berry Cafe for lunch and enjoy signature sandwiches, burgers, wraps, salads, and healthy options are available as well. Triple Berry Cafe, just off Randall Road in Crystal Lake. Now with a coffee bar. Hop on over to Lamb's Farm in Libertyville for a delicious bunny brunch on Friday, March 29th or Saturday, March 30th. Enjoy a delicious buffet at the Magnolia Cafe and Bakery. Then take a walk over to the Bunny Patch in the Visitor Center for crafts and a special visit with the Easter Bunny. Call the Magnolia Cafe and Bakery at Lamb's Farm for reservations for the Bunny Brunch at 847-362-5050. Visit lambsfarm.org for more information. Hippity hop! 
Warm up this winter and introduce your friends to Vieter Coffee at the Food Hall in downtown Elgin. Vieter Coffee has a winter menu that includes six new coffee drinks with names like Little Wolf, Tartan Tonic, and Merry Mint Mocha. Plus, there's a whole new lineup of baked goods, too. Vieter Coffee provides you with amazing flavors and customer service. So relax and savor a cup in a place that offers a new level of coffee drinks and service within a peaceful, relaxing space. Visit VieterCoffeeCart.com. Ah. Hit the open road and experience the fresh air of Wisconsin at the Grand Stay Hotel and Suites in Mount Horeb. This award-winning hotel is just outside Madison. Mount Horeb is known as the troll capital of the world. Families can go on a troll hunt through the historic downtown or check out Cave of the Mounds just minutes down the road. The Grand Stay offers a beautiful pool and a hot tub with year-round fun. Visit GrandStayMountHoreb.com today to schedule your visit. It is a 6.13 here at Studio 14 on this Thursday morning. Welcome to the First Shift. I'm Marky B. reporting. And the First Shift starts with our Pledge of Allegiance and our National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good Thursday morning from WRMN and from the Fox River Valley Media Network. Welcome to the First Shift, right here on the Voice of the Valley, WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. Yeehaw! Don't get that excited. I'm only introducing Marky B. <laughs> exactly. Featuring local news and sports, your Fox Valley forecast and local traffic twice an hour at 15 and 45 minutes past. Timely interviews, a radio shopping show preview, milestones and memories, and born on dates of the lates and greats, Elgin trivia, and all of your phone calls, texts, and Facebook comments as part of the staff meeting. The First Shift is the most informative, entertaining, and interactive morning show in all of the Fox River Valley and beyond. You liar! Well, okay, at least it makes great background noise, whether you're at work, in the car, or at home. Whatever! Your host, Marky B, maintains an upbeat attitude every day, despite the fact that he's saddled with an overall lack of talent, a delusioned ego, and false hope for a bright future. Loser. Yeah, he's pretty much a loser, but at least he tries. Welcome to Studio 14 in downtown Elgin for the first shift on WRMN AM 1410. And 96.7 FM. Well, well, we got the music out of the box and put it back in the system. You know, the box that's been sitting in the hallway. Welcome to Studio 14, downtown Elgin on a Thursday morning. And uh, we are getting things cranked up. It's dark. It's early. It's kind of cold outside. We got a little snow on the way tonight. But we're going to be all right. 
Hope you're feeling okay. The winds are calm outside as we start this day at 26 degrees. And uh, let's go ahead and start with the forecast for the upcoming weekend. 26 right now, overcast skies, winds are calm. I hope you are. I'm trying to be. Mostly cloudy skies today with a high of 42. Some clouds and a little sun at times on a Thursday. And then snow rolls in late tonight. Probably maybe a dusting um, on the ground. Not too much expected. Maybe just enough to annoy the, the local street crews, forcing them to go out and uh, treat the streets a little bit. We'll see. Cloudy skies tonight right around freezing for the overnight low. 32 degrees and then getting into tomorrow snow is likely in the morning looks like we might have a little snow during the first shift high of 41 degrees there is a 100 percent chance of snow and then rain as the day goes on so kind of an ugly day tomorrow with a snow rain mix it looks like 41 for your friday high 100 percent chance rain and snow is still likely tomorrow late in the afternoon, maybe into about dinner time tomorrow night. Mostly cloudy with a low of 25 tomorrow night. And then Saturday, the sun comes back out as we hit a high of about 38 degrees. 38 for Saturday, mostly sunny. Sunday, a slight chance of a, an isolated shower, maybe a snow shower even. And mostly cloudy with a high of 44 on Sunday. And then it looks like Monday and Tuesday are going to be rainy. So it's certainly going to be spring-like here in early spring. Monday, though, the temperature shoots up to 57 degrees with the chance of rain. And Tuesday, we're at 52 with rain likely. So in the 50s next Monday and Tuesday. And a little snow rolling in in the middle of the night tonight, eventually converting over to rain as the day goes on tomorrow. That's the story. Today it's going to stay dry and it's going to stay chilly. 26 right now as we head for a high of about 42. It is 620 on a Thursday morning here at WRMN. And uh, we are up and about. The chat room looks kind of weird. I did something to it here. So I don't know what I've done to the chat room, but uh, we can chat in it this morning. As uh, we say good morning to the big boss man, he checks in in the chat room today and uh, says, good morning, Marky B and uh, first shifters. Have a great day from the big boss man checking in this morning. In the chat room today. And the big boss man sends us a bunch of prayers to get our show underway today. Looks like he has sent 20 prayers to the prayer scoreboard on a Thursday morning, our first 20. Captain Keith in the house, senior engineer, Elgin High, class 1978. Back when life was great and I was eight. Down in the colony, Texas at the age of eight years old. Doing whatever eight-year-olds do. Caring about sports, I guess, is probably all I really cared about. And I'm not sure if at age eight, I was really a sports fanatic yet, but it wouldn't take me long before I, all I needed was a ball and a wall and I could invent a game in my mind. Captain Keith says all shifters matter. Thanks for being a loyal longtime listener, Captain Keith to the show. No nickname John checks in. Should we get the bad joker pun out of the way early? I mean, excuse me, should we enjoy the bad joker pun today together because it's one of the most amazing parts of this show every day it is absolutely the best you know what i mean you liar i am not lying all right let's go ahead and get it out of the way it is national flower day my wife and i my wife is mad at me says no name john because I never buy her flowers. My wife is mad at me because I never buy her flowers. I honestly didn't know that she sold flowers. 
Please be quiet. This needs to stop. Now. Shut up! No nickname John gets off to a roaring start. Man, we never knew that Sally was a flower um, proprietor, if that's the right word. 622 here at WRMN. So we'll uh, follow the chat room throughout the morning today. And uh, we'll see what's on your mind in the chat room today. As uh, we move on with the show, we are on YouTube, as I mentioned. Um, That's where we got those comments from. At WRMN Radio on YouTube today, if you want to join us that way. We'll be on YouTube throughout the show. And we'll go over our staff meeting. See who else chats with us today besides the big boss man and Captain Keith and no nickname John. Looks like those are the only three chats I have so far. You can always send me a morning text message if you want to. 901-647-1240. That's 901-647-1240. That's my cell phone number if you want to. Send me a text throughout the show today. And you can always call the show at 901-64... No, wait, hang on. At 847-931-1410. You'd think I know the number by now. 847-931-1410 if you want to call the show on this Thursday morning and be a part of it. Coming up on the Thursday show today, here's what we are looking at. We'll go from the end to the beginning today for whatever reason. Craig Pierce will be stopping by from the village of South Elgin. And Craig will have the the Friendly Voice of the Village show today. He'll uh, be going over an upcoming calendar of events coming up in South Elgin for the next few months as we start to get into the fun part of the year in South Elgin as far as events are concerned. Those outdoor events will start kicking in. And uh, always a lot of fun at Panton Mill Park every summer. And maybe Craig will start to tell us about that a little bit. Give us the calendar for Panton Mill Park. That's where we'll be this year on the 7th of September for this year's America's First Responders Fest. Up three weeks from the past. We're going to move it up to early September, the weekend after Labor Day this year. So mark your calendar. And uh, We have had, we've been blessed with beautiful weather every year. I hope we don't jinx it by changing the date on the calendar. Um, Even though we've been in early October pretty much since the start of America's First Responders Fest, we have been really blessed by Mother Nature with uh, unseasonably nice weather for that time of the year. So I hope we're not messing with success, but we figured we would move the date up a little more to um, get closer to 9-11 since this has become a First Responders Fest. So more on that coming up later, but... uh, why did I even mention that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Craig Pierce in South Elgin. A South Elgin update, and that's where America's First Responders Fest takes place. And that'll be at 9.15 this morning. Generally, in the Thursday 8 o'clock hour, we have Jeff Ward joining me. But um, we're going to take a little break with the First Ward Radio Report today. And uh, if you want to read about what Jeff blogs about, go to thefirstward.net. That is thefirstward.net. We will not have the First Ward Radio Report today here on the station. Um, Also coming up today on the station, we will have a radio shopping show preview. The shop show comes your way um, this afternoon at 3 o'clock. That is our new shop show time. One shop show a day. Makes all your shopping, makes all your shopping pleasures stay here on the radio station. So uh, listen into the radio shopping show today. Matt's got it for you from three until six, and before that, Matt will be in the Redemption Center from noon until three. Call him in the Redemption Center anytime, and place an order at eight four seven nine three one fourteen ten. That's the studio phone number after three. The Redemption Center phone number is 847-741-7700. That's 847-741-7700. 
And uh, Matt will be there from noon until 3 today. You can come see us at 14 Douglas Avenue if you want to. And uh, we will be open from noon to 3. So come see us today in the Redemption Center. All right, this chat room's driving me crazy this morning. So let me see if I can put it back where it belongs here. So it doesn't distract me from the show. Radio Shopping Show preview in the 650 segment. I'll have a haiku today for you, hopefully. And the word of the day from Blackhawks Brad to be used in the haiku today is whippersnapper. Northwest Wesley Jr. the second might be a young whippersnapper. Jeremiah could be a whippersnapper. We were all once whippersnappers, right? An unimportant but offensively presumptuous person. Really? That's not what I thought whippersnapper meant. An unimportant but offensively presumptuous person, especially a young one. So it's like a young know-it-all. I didn't realize that. I guess I never really knew the true definition of the word whippersnapper, but we'll use it this uh, morning in the haiku coming up, possibly in the 650 segment, if I have my act together by then. Time out for Sherman's been taking a break for a while. Um, maybe with a little bit more of a wide open show today, we will have our, our latest German lesson. You never know for sure. We'll have a little more time for news this morning and a little more time for nonsense and a little more time for first shift 411. So we'll share a little first shift 411 next hour at about 715 and maybe again at 815 this morning. That's all happening on the radio show today. Of course, our chat room is open and our staff meeting will take place and we'll settle in and try to have a good time. Between now and 10 o'clock, the Brian Kilmeade show today will not start until 10 here at WRMN because we're going to keep it local in the 9 o'clock hour with Craig Pierce this morning and the friendly voice of the Village Show. Uh, Once again, we've had a big trivia week here on the show and I think we're going to have another trivia question today. Why not? We've had uh, more wide open shows. Larry Jones has been kind of ill in this week, so we haven't had Larry. And uh, so we'll do trivia again this morning. Let's do it in the 850 segment today. And who knows, Craig Pierce might bring in a trivia question too. Sometimes he does that during his friendly voice of the village show. So get ready for a little trivia this morning. And on my trivia question in the 850 segment today, I looked into the prize closet. I have my own prize vault now. It's in my office. And um, I got a lot of little trinkets and interesting things to give away in the coming weeks. Today, I think we'll give away a bingo card. Because Leah gave me some bingo cards last week to give away during trivia. So if you want to play bingo next Friday, generally costs you 10 or 15 bucks to get a bingo card if you order from the radio shopping show. But today, bingo card will be a part of our trivia prize package today. And I'll also throw in a This Is My Elgin book from our friend FSS, First Shift Sherry. This is my Elgin. Hometown stories, songs, and photographs by Sherry Lynn Blazier from the Elgin Public Museum. So a nice little trivia prize pack for you today. Our final trivia question for a while because we will not have a show next week and tomorrow we won't have time for trivia. So one more trivia try today in the 850 segment this morning. It is a 631 here at WRMN. Some new stories on the way. Longtime Schomburg mayor has passed away. So I'll give you some uh, details about that in just a few moments. He was a, a big impact player in the, the village. It's a village, right, of Schomburg. As he was a longtime mayor of Schomburg. That would be one of the news stories that I touch on here in just a few moments when we get into the news. Today, in our Dumb Daily Holiday Department, we have International Color Day. International Color Day. Vibrant hues evoke emotions, transforming surroundings with a kaleidoscope of sensations, shaping moods and sparking creativity. Pervasive in nature and based on the electromagnetic spectrum that the human eye can behold, 
Color is not only about beauty, but it is a deeply embedded in science, too. Learn more about and show appreciation for this aspect of visual perception by celebrating International Color Day. What's your favorite color? Anna the Chairman, Director of Foreign Affairs, is pulling up. Honker's log starts to build. Studio 14 Naked Eye Cam this morning was activated at 538. And at 606, friend of Brenda, she was driving with a little purpose this morning. She was uh, driving a little faster down Douglas than she normally was. I guess she felt like she was running late. The store will open, the hut will open when friend of Brenda gets there, okay? All you locals can wait until she's ready. We have uh, Gregarious Gina in the green room. She's all about color and uh, art and things of that nature. And Anna the Chairman, Director of Foreign Affairs, just pulled by the radio station a moment ago. She usually parks right across the street. Not sure where her car is right now, but she's walking in. As uh, she is back this morning, and she hands me something. Oh, some glasses. North American Eclipse plastic glasses. Okay. Thank you, Anna the Chairman. Um, it is uh, 634 here at WRM. Oh, it's for the eclipse. You're supposed to see the eclipse through these glasses. The North American Eclipse glasses. The eclipse will take place on the 8th of April. And it will be very viewable from southern Illinois, I guess. It'll be, what, a total a total eclipse of the heart? A total eclipse of the sun? I'm not sure, but the eclipse. So now I'll have my glasses and I can try to see it. Thank you, Anna the Chairman, Director of Foreign Affairs. 634 here at WRMN. All right, let's see. This chat room is agonizing me this morning. All right, there we go. That's a little better. So we can see into the chat room a little better this morning. We say good morning to Dynamite Denise. I don't see my little scroller thing, though. That's what's driving me crazy. I can't scroll down in the chat room. Where's my scroller? Um, Dynamite Denise checks in. Happy Friday, she says, even though it's Thursday. You're jumping the gun a little bit, Dynamite Denise. Happy Friday, she says. Enjoy your day, and hopefully tonight's snow will be the last. Bring on spring. Yeah, it could be the last snow. Could very well be the last snow tonight. You never know. Dynamite Denise sends us seven prayers to the prayer scoreboard. We have 27 already on the prayer scoreboard this morning. So we'll keep an eye on YouTube throughout the morning. It's International Color Day. It's also, I see a picture of some tacos. National Crunchy Taco Day. You like them soft, you like them crunchy. National Crunchy Taco Day. There's nothing quite like a delicious crunchy taco to provide super sassifying flavor for lunch or dinner. The picture looks really good. I like both. The only, the only thing, I usually order soft taco shells because that way my taco can stay together better. And crunchy tacos are good, though. But oftentimes, um, you know, the taco breaks and the meat and the tomatoes and the onion and the cheese and all that falls over your plate ends up being a taco salad with chips in it. That's the only thing that sometimes holds me back from getting crunchy tacos. National Crunchy Taco Day. So have a crunchy taco today if you had a soft taco on Tuesday. It is uh, 636 here at WRMN on this Thursday morning. Those are a couple of our dumb daily holidays of the day. All right, well, we're going to check a couple of news stories in just a moment. I'll give you some information about the Schomburg longtime mayor who has passed away here recently. And um, that'll be one of our headlining news stories this morning. Uh, In the meantime, Linda Rock covers the news from 100 years ago. She does a great job. I love her thorough reports. And uh, she is here to give us one right now. Let's see what happened in Elgin back in 1924. As you listen to the first shift 
26 degrees here in downtown Elgin. We're headed for a high of 42 today. Snow rolls into the area tonight. Here are headline stories from Elgin newspapers 100 years ago today, brought to you by the Elgin Area Historical Society. I'm Linda Rock. The stories today were in Elgin newspapers on March 21st, 1924. Indication that the work of cleaning the city's wells may be delayed was evidenced today when Commissioners L.C. Volberding, head of the Water Department, and R.F. Hunter engaged in a heated argument concerning the letting of additional contracts. As a result of the deadlock between the pair, this morning's session was adjourned until this afternoon. The argument began when Commissioner Hunter advocated the awarding of the contract to the Gray Firm, with Commissioner Volberding holding out in favor of the Hampshire Firm, which had, has just completed a drilling and cleaning operation on the first two wells. Commissioner Hunter contended that the Gray concern was the lowest bidder and should, for that reason, be awarded the contract. Volberding argued that the, the Coney and Coon firm had completed a satisfactory job and with the machinery on the ground was ready to continue the work at once. The Elgin YWCA basketball team will play the Janesville, Wisconsin Y girls at the local gymnasium at 7.30 o'clock tomorrow evening. Because of illness of several members of the Elgin team, the lineup is somewhat uncertain, it is announced. The Medina Duck Club will banquet on roast duck at Commandery Hall on Grove Avenue next Monday evening, according to notices sent to members. Lynn W. McGill, Walter Ripberger, and Arthur L. Paulson are members of the committee in charge in charge of dispersing the dispatching of the ducklets in the true oriental fashion. That's it for today. Be sure to tune in again for more news from 100 years ago. And don't forget to visit the Elgin History Museum, located in Old Main at 360 Park Street. You can find its hours of operation and programs offered at www.elginhistory.org. WRMN has been serving Elgin and the Fox Valley for 75 years, featuring a combination of local news, information, and entertainment in the mornings, followed by the radio shopping show for five hours each weekday. The first shift with Marky B starts your morning at 6 a.m., and it's always fun when Larry Jones is a part of the show. Maybe we need to get a radio intern in to help. Maybe so. Somebody that you won't have to pay and you can treat them tough. I can haze them. Can't haze. You'll get fired. <laughs> Remember that guy from Northwestern? Yeah. Gone. Did he really do it? You don't have to really do it. If somebody what he says you did? Yeah. Good enough. Maybe I'm going to accuse you of hazing me. I don't have to prove it. <laughs> and then there will be a lot of people that Woodwork come out of the and say that say, I also I, hazed I remember him. when Mark hazed me. I've been hazed. <laughs> Mark hazed me back in 2012. 2012. I remember in Memphis one time. He was really mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's first shift fun and information in the morning combined with the radio shopping show to save you money and you get it right here on WRMN AM 1410 WRMN 1410 radio on Facebook and WRMN 1410.com Renata's Old Salem Cafe is now Renata's German restaurant with old family recipes for delicious Bavarian dinners. Renata's is also known for breakfast and lunch. Renata's German restaurant has fresh baked German pastries. For a hearty breakfast, try Renata's for pancakes, skillets, and more. They've also set the standard for catering excellence. Try Renata's German restaurant off Irving Park, west of Wise Road in Hanover Park. Visit RenatasGermanRestaurant.com. Michael Brown, former Undersecretary of Homeland Security and Director of FEMA, is your new full-time host of The Weekend, which airs every Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. right here on WRMN. Each week on the popular three-hour program, Brown offers listeners a fresh take on The Weekend Talk with his provocative insights into current events, politics, and culture. So late in the day on Saturday, make it a point to catch The Weekend with Michael Brown right here on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. 
Ever take your car through the auto emissions lane only to experience the sinking feeling that your car has failed the test? Don't fret. Let Meineke at 376 Sundown in South Elgin fix the problem for you. Meineke's mechanics will determine the exact problem with your vehicle and suggest necessary repairs with Meineke's diagnostic service. Pass that test with help from the trained Meineke technicians. Call today for your appointment. 847-888-9644. That's 847-888-9644. For great quality tasting Italian food and pizza, make your destination the Italian Pizza Kitchen on Irving Park in Roselle. The freshest Italian ingredients are used at Italian Pizza Kitchen where the plentiful pasta dishes are created from old home recipes. Try the piping hot pizza or other favorites like the fall off the bone ribs. Italian Pizza Kitchen has a passion for outstanding food and service. From their family to yours, Bon Appetito. Call 630-582-1900. Welcome back to the first shift here on Comfort Radio, WRMN, early on a Thursday morning. Easing on into it as I take a look outside here on Douglas Avenue. Darkness starts to lift a little bit. I can start to see the sky a little bit down Action Alley. The lights on the street here are still taking effect. And we are making our way into a Thursday. It's March the 21st which I guess uh, in one way or another is the first full day of spring, right? First full day of spring. Well, spring came early again this year with El Nino or whatever. We had a lot of great, great days throughout the winter. And uh, now that we actually officially enter spring, winter wants to come back a little bit. That generally happens, but nothing fierce. Uh, 42 for the daytime high today. And uh, tonight... We are looking at a little snow in the forecast. Mostly cloudy, some periods of sun today. Snow likely tonight down to about freezing for the overnight low, so we'll be right at the snow temperature, about 32. And the snow should start to fall maybe somewhere around midnight or a little bit after midnight, I think, and then throughout the middle of the night. Not a whole lot of snow expected, maybe just a nice light snowfall that eventually on tomorrow morning during the first shift will maybe during the first shift will shift to rain. But it looks like snow might hang on a little bit longer than originally thought. And uh, snow might might persist throughout the first shift on your Friday. High of 41 tomorrow. It'll change to rain at some point in the afternoon. And then taper off late in the afternoon, early in the evening tomorrow night. Mostly cloudy with a low of 25. So we kind of have like two fronts coming. Nothing fierce, but two precipitation fronts. One coming tonight and tomorrow. And then after a dry Saturday and Sunday for the most part, um, rain moves back into the forecast next Monday and Tuesday, although it'll be warmer. Saturday's high only 38 with sunshine. Sunday, an isolated snow shower possible, otherwise mostly cloudy and a high of 44. It's going to stay above freezing on Sunday night. Chance of rain and snow, low 37. And then 57 for next Monday and 52 for Tuesday with rain likely both days. We're on YouTube. Let me transition back to me. There I am. As uh, we get this show going, it's uh, 646 here at WRMN. Let's take a look at a news story or two to start our morning. See what we've been uh, tracking in the last 24 hours. Longtime Schaumburg mayor dies. A lot of people had a lot of nice things to say about this man's contribution to the Schaumburg community. Al Larson, a visionary leader who guided the community for more than four decades. So he was in charge for a long time, or was one of the leaders for a long time in Schaumburg, as it grew into the second largest economic hub in the state of Illinois. Al Larson was the man that was a a part of the whole growth time for Schaumburg. He has passed away on Tuesday at the age of 85 years old. 32 years as mayor. It's a long time, right, Mayor Dave Captain? Mayor Captain pushing his fourth term right now. 
but uh, eight terms for former Schaumburg Mayor Al Larson. He was also a village trustee characterized by an unwavering drive to improve the community wherever and whenever opportunity existed, but also a recognition of when it was preferable to protect the status quo. Pursue progress, but don't overlook the good things that you already have, I guess is the bottom line there. Don't forget tradition as you pursue progress. Village manager Brian Townsend, who first met Larson back in 1993, described him as the epitome of skilled, savvy, successful. I like that. Skilled, savvy, and successful. Al was a visionary, someone who always saw the bigger picture and saw great potential in the village of Schomburg, Townsend said. His loss will be deeply felt by those who knew him and those like me who had the privilege of working with him. Larson retired from public service in 2019, about five years ago, after helping build a center of commerce that demanded the kind of respect, but not initially granted the suburbs. The suburbs used to get dissed. The suburbs were once dismissed as the land beyond O'Hare. Well, there's a lot of land that's been developed beyond O'Hare now, right? Elgin has its own suburbs now. As a growth has expanded to the west over the past uh, 50, 100 years. Larson is often associated with his support for big projects in Schaumburg, among them the publicly owned baseball stadium, Boomer Stadium, <clears throat> now known as Wind Trust Field, where the Schaumburg Boomers play. Along with the convention center and the village's purchase of the Schaumburg Airport, to prevent it from being turned into an industrial park. Uh, Larson's support for the baseball stadium, Wintrust Field, came from a desire to make Schaumburg different from other suburbs. He believed his influence was more profound in other ways, such as maintaining strong relationships with all the, uh, the other local governments in the area, including the Schaumburg Park District and the Schaumburg Township District Library. Cooperation and teamwork were hallmarks of his governing style. Over the decades, he observed other mayors who tried to dictate their agendas to their boards or councils. In many cases, they become one-term mayors, Larson would note. So Larson tried to get along with all the different uh, people that he worked with, I guess. The, the power of compromise. Some are too stubborn to um, identify that, that need and that power and that, uh, that need, basically, for compromise. Larson was not. He was open-minded, it sounds like. Al Larson passes away at the age of 85. I like to read about city leaders and what they've contributed to an area, the dedication um, to their communities, and there's a lot that uh, they have to go through and a lot of different types of attitudes they have to deal with. A lot of loopholes they have to jump through to uh, make things happen. So rest in peace, Al Larson. Condolences to the Larson family of Schomburg. It's uh, 651 here at WRMN. And that's in a little early news for you. Got some crime time for you next hour. And uh, we'll see what else I've missed in the last 24 hours news-wise. If you see something you want to pass along... Let me know where I can find it, and I'll see if I can dig it up during the show today. We have our staff meeting going on. We're on YouTube. And uh, we say good morning to the Robles one, Robles Ralph. Good morning, First Shifters, and Marky e. B. Bundle up, says Robles Ralph. Five prayers from the prayer scoreboard. Yeah, a little late winter coming in, but that's all right. It's kind of like a... Um, the weather's like a graph, right? It dips and it peaks and it dips, or peaks and valleys. And it seems like when we have these early springs, we get spoiled, first of all, so we expect that's the way it's going to stay. And um, when we get these early springs, like we have the last couple of years, where the weather's been very nice in February and early March, and then suddenly it dives back towards winter a little bit, it, uh, it shouldn't be surprising. But it is just a little valley, and it seems to be a normal thing. 
It's like an Indian summer the, uh, the other way around, right? When uh, fall comes and then summer kind of comes back for a minute, same thing kind of happens in the opposite here the last couple of years around here. Spring comes, and then we dive back to winter for a minute. But that's okay. 652 here at WRMN. Uh, Dynamite Denise asked about Mean Gene. Uh, mean Gene was going to call the show yesterday, but he didn't. I don't think I have much of an update on Mean Gene. He keeps on coming back and fighting. And I believe he's still in rehab over at St. Joseph's, but not for much longer. So I'll see if I can get an update on Mean Gene today, maybe to share with you tomorrow. If Gene himself doesn't call on the show today. Been a long, hard road for our friend Mean Gene in the A1 machine. It all started last July, and here we are in March of this year. And that setback that he suffered several weeks ago in the car accident was certainly a huge setback for Gene. And it had to be tough on him mentally. You feel like you're on your way back and then you got to go back to rehab again. and It's a different injury. So our prayers for me and Gene indeed. 6.52 here at WRMN. All right, let's see what's happening on the radio shopping show today. Uh, one thing I noticed that wasn't changed from last week, so I want to make sure I mention it on the air, is it, it mentions that we're doing an Elgin public house live broadcast today that's not true Uh, that was last thursday so just make note of that but we are not broadcasting live from the elgin public house today as it indicates on our daily deals today so uh we're not out to lunch today we'll be here in here in studio for our out to lunch program and right now i have no guest scheduled for today's out to lunch thanks to emily tyler who stopped in yesterday to talk about pallet to pallet an upcoming fundraiser on the 22nd of April over at the Grand Victoria Casino, raising money for Food for Greater Elgin. But today, something could change, but as of right now, we have no guests scheduled for Out to Lunch. I'll take you through the early part of the show, and then Sonar will pick up the pieces in Hour 2, and he might be joined by his buddy Ben Bo. Bendemonium Boquist. What a name, huh? 654 here at WRM and out to lunch every day from noon until two. It's kind of an extension of the morning show, and we hope to be able to do it out on the road once we really get settled into the new regime and get a lot of our rough edges ironed out. We're working so hard. Dean, the director, Delaley, has been going crazy trying to get everything in order in here. From a technical standpoint, Sonar the Savant Green has been going crazy trying to get everything organized from a technical standpoint in here. So it takes some time. But uh, thanks to both of you guys for being managing partners and for stepping in here and trying to make a difference at WRMN. Today on the Radio Shopping Show, we celebrate Thursday, 30% off a Thursday, 30% off the already marked down prices. It excludes any new products we might have. Probably that includes Mott's Lounge out of Burlington. I haven't heard the story behind Mott's Lounge yet, how we landed that account. But it's nice to have Mott's Lounge on board from Burlington on the Radio Shopping Show. And uh, bingo coming up next Friday. Bingo and game day here on the station. Not tomorrow, but next week on Friday. And today I'm going to have a bingo card available to you during trivia in the 850 segment this morning if you want to play bingo. It is 656 here at WRMN. I don't have a haiku yet. So we'll finish this hour by saluting a couple of our first shifters uh, going into the chat room for a second here and see what we got going on. The uh, Sultan of South Elgin checks in this morning. Good morning, Mark and the WRMN shifters. Y'all have a perky and peaceful Thursday. As the Sultan of South Elgin sends baseballs. He's a baseball man. And today's 21st. I believe that means that opening day... The real opening day is uh, about a week from today in Major League Baseball. They do start a little bit earlier than they used to. It used to be early April. Now it's late March. Uh, The Cubs will start in Texas. I guess that means the White Sox will start the season at home. If memory serves me right, I think they might have the Detroit Tigers to start the season. At guaranteed rate field on the south side, it's guaranteed to be a rough season for the White Sox. Our friend, the previous caller, Genius George, trying to be positivistic, 
He thinks the White Sox could win 75 games if they put it all together, but that still would be a losing record. Projections have the White Sox as one of the worst teams in the American League with about 60 or 62 wins this year. So that's not good. 6.57 here at WRMN, but it'll be nice to have baseball back for real. The baseball regular season starting in about a week. Meanwhile, you can catch some Judson baseball. We'll keep you up to speed uh, when Judson's going to be playing at home for the rest of the season. If you want to run on out to Judson College one Saturday or on a Tuesday afternoon or something and catch a little local baseball. South Elgin Chris, the Sultan of South Elgin, keeps his finger on the pulse of that for us. And uh, No Nickname John says he's going to be making a road trip for the Eclipse. He says Sally and I are going to her sister's house in St. Genevieve, Missouri to view the Eclipse. Well, you need some glasses? No Nickname John, Anna the Sherman has dropped me off some glasses and I'm probably not going to be making the trip. Our road trip will be next week. No show next week. I'll tell you more about that next hour with some First Shift 411. Coming up on the top of the hour right now, we'll catch up on some national news and some local news and sports, and we'll get into hour two of the first shift. Thanks for listening on this Thursday morning, 26 cold degrees as daylight takes flight on a Thursday on WRMN. Here at WRMN Radio, we try to connect with the community and discuss important issues like our current mental health crisis. Here's Lori Baker, President and CEO of AID. I think most people, when they see young children thinking about suicide at the ages of five and six and seven, I mean, that's shocking to me that children even know that they want to harm themselves somehow. Um, I know it's difficult. Um, I um, uh, definitely um, feel the pinch. We all feel the pinch at the gas pump at the grocery store, right, um, in our rents, but um, I think most people um, could handle 27 cents a day to help uh, kids and seniors and people experiencing homelessness. Discussions like this take place on the first shift, weekday mornings from 6 to 10, right here on WRMN AM 1410 and WRMN 1410 Radio on Facebook. Your hometown radio station since 1949. We are WRMN AM 1410, Elgin time, 7 o'clock. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Sky Rizzi. Explore proven results with Sky Rizzi. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page elginvideo.cityofelgin.org Honoring its 150-year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. 
Looking for a place to try for breakfast or lunch? You'll find a gem of a restaurant with amazing food and great prices at the Triple Berry Cafe, 435 Angela Lane in Crystal Lake. For breakfast, try Triple Berry Strawberry Cheesecake French Toast, Ribeye Steak and Eggs, or Carnitas Skillets. At lunch, there's the AM Burger or Chipotle Chicken BLT. There's delicious homemade cream of mushroom soup. For tasty home cooking, Triple Berry Cafe is the place to be. Visit TripleBerryCafe.com. Come see the only train-themed restaurant where all the seating is on the tracks. Two Toots Train Whistle Grill on Main Street in both Bartlett and Glen Ellen is always fun and always fresh. Two Toots Train Whistle Grill serves 100% grass-fed beef hot dogs and burgers. There's also chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, and more, all loaded up on two Lionel O-scale trains and delivered directly to your seat. No one sits away from the fun, regardless of age. When a train arrives delivering your food, you'll smile ear to ear. Visit Two Toots Dot com. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 210 Central tip off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11.15 a.m. tip off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won three of four. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's won two in a row. They're 34 and 35. Ninth in the East with a three and a half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpit stink. Oh. Uh-huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get seventy-two hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh. It's always exciting to hear Elgin business owners like Tanner Melvin of Side Street Studios share positivity about the local community. Elgin is on its way, and it has been, and it sometimes, I mean, we got set back the pandemic, and it's been rough. Everyone has felt it in so many different ways. What we're trying to do is a lot of hand-holding and shoulder rubbing and being like, it's okay, it's okay. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get this town a lot more money. We're very lucky to live in this community right now. There's nothing like this around here. Feel the positive power of the first shift with me, Marky B, weekday mornings on WRMN. It's easier than you think for pests to threaten your family's health. Ticks, which spread dangerous diseases, hide in tall grasses and even on your pets. Rodents easily invade your home, contaminate food, and can carry more than 35 diseases. Mosquitoes, which breed in standing water, transmit many diseases. Get the facts you need to protect your family at pestworld.org. It's that easy. A public service message from the National Pest Management Association. Welcome to the 7 o'clock hour of the first shift here on this Thursday morning where we sit in the upper 20s today. We're going to have a mix of clouds and sun, I think. 27 degrees right now. Winds are calm and we're headed for a high today of about 42 under a mostly cloudy sky before we get a little snow tonight. Maybe a little snow during the first shift tomorrow before it shifts to rain. Welcome to this hour of the first shift here on the 21st of March. I guess technically the first full day of March, right? WRMN News Time is 7.06. Let's win this day. Elgin and the Fox River Valley are open for business. Good morning. 
With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Prevnar. Honoring its 150 year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page, elginvideo.cityofelgin.org. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more. Hey, girl. Because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Everyone has a community to lean on. A neighborhood, school, kids' teams, where you worship, work, work out, or any other place or group where you choose to belong. Communities can provide support when you need it and even when you don't know you do. Like when it comes to preventing underage drinking and other substance use. You've talked with your kids and shared clear expectations, but you're not with them every minute. Your community members, friends and relatives, teachers and coaches, faith leaders, and other important adults in your kids' lives can be your eyes, ears, and a supportive influence when you're not around, reinforcing your messages with your kids and alerting you to warning signs of underage drinking or other substance use. So talk with your kids about these issues and involve the members of your community to help keep your kids safe. Because when you talk, they hear you. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 210 Central tip off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11:15 a.m. tip off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won three of four. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's won two in a row. They're 34-35. and 35. Ninth in the East with a three-and-a-half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get 72 hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant.
clocking out? Drive home with the Drive Time Deal with Matt McNeil on WRMN 1410 AM every weekday from 3 to 6 p.m. I bring you the hottest deals in town, the most intriguing stories, and the tracks that take the edge off rush hour. Tune in on 1410 AM. Catch us on YouTube Live at WRMN Radio or stream through our app. I've got the wheel to steer your evening right. WRMN 1410 AM, your home of radio shopping and the soundtrack to your commute. Rise and shine, Fox Valley listeners. It's time to kickstart your day with First Shift with Marky B on WRMN 1410 AM. From 6 to 9 a.m., join the chatter that gets you clued in with the latest buzz around town. Don't just sip on your coffee. Let Marky B brew your morning with the perfect mix of news, views, and moves. Dial us in or live stream at WRMN1410.com and make your mornings a whole lot brighter. WRMN 1410 AM. We are the voice of the valley, and we're here to talk. In the mood for some great barbecue but just don't have time to make it yourself? Carry out Coleman's Barbecue on Elgin's East Side at 79 Clock Tower. Coleman specializes in ribs, tips, chicken wings, seafood, and sandwiches with sides like coleslaw, potato salad, and dessert. Try Coleman's exotic mild sauce. It's the bomb. You can also buy sauce in gallon or pint sizes. It's prepared just right. The Coleman's way. Call 224-535-8153. In the middle of the night, everything will be all right if you listen to Coast to Coast right here on WRMN, seven days a week from midnight to 5 a.m. Each night on Coast to Coast, listeners are captivated by George Nury with discussions on news and current events, conspiracy theories, UFOs, life after death, and all things curious and unexplained. Coast to Coast, every night, midnight to 5 a.m. right here on WRMN, a.m. 1410 and 96.7 FM. It is 7.13 here at WRMN on this Thursday morning. Hold on one second here. I'm trying to figure something out. Welcome back to the show. And there's that. Okay. All right. Well, let me get back on YouTube here. Just having a slight audio uh, issue that's nagging at me this morning, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. It is... Uh, Thursday morning and some clouds outside and uh, maybe a little sunshine coming in a little while. And uh, 27 degrees this hour. Winds are calm and we're headed for a high of about 42 on a Thursday today. A little snow rolling into the forecast tonight. Uh, really, it, now it's it looks like it's not going to hit right away. It looks like it's going to be starting closer to the time when the first shift is going to start tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like they're pushing the projections back a little bit. Snow is likely, but now it says mainly after about 5 o'clock in the morning. A low of 32 tonight, so we may stay dry for a good part of the night. And then it could be snowy during the morning show. How about that? Snow likely during the first shift tomorrow with a high of about 41 degrees. 100%. 100%. New snow accumulation of about a half inch is possible. So a dusting maybe. It'll be kind of wet snow because it's going to be borderline rain and eventually it will become rain. Tomorrow night rain and snow is likely early in the evening and mostly cloudy with a low of 25. And then Saturday sunshine with a high of about 38. Sunday a high of 44. And Monday and Tuesday getting wet again. But Monday and Tuesday, it'll all be rain. Monday, a chance of rain, mostly cloudy with a high of 57. And Tuesday, rain, mostly cloudy and a high of 52. 27 degrees right now. Fair skies and calm conditions. Daylight kind of easing in this morning with uh, clouds winning the battle over the sunshine early today. It is 7.16 on this, the 21st day of uh, March. We're going to get to our staff meeting in a little bit. More news stories on the way. We'll uh, hit the honkers log this morning. Kind of slow honkers log so far. CK and Gina just left to go on their way. Anna, the chairman, left a few minutes earlier to go to the center. Good morning for a walk. A little cold outside. Maybe wear your toboggan. 
I think that's a pet peeve word of Northwest Wes's, since I call it a toboggan and not just a hat. Uh, so maybe wear your, wear your hat. I wore my toboggan yesterday when I hooked up the Jeep to the camper for the road trip, which is about to commence starting tomorrow night, which is one of the reasons why I kind of want this uh, rain and snow to pass through a little bit earlier. I'm not so happy that the forecast is being pushed back a little bit. 27 degrees right now at 716. And let's see what's happening with a little first shift 411 this hour for you. I mentioned this during the noon hour yesterday. Um, some of you I know are morning show listeners and maybe don't listen to you get into your work day or whatever and you don't listen to the station in the lunch hour. Some of you do. Thank you for those who do. I have been kind of holding down the fort in the noon hour and uh, then sonar comes in uh, in the one o'clock hour. And uh, we may cross over a little bit from time to time. Sonar might come into the room while I'm still here and we could have a two-way conversation. Maybe we'll just try that today for a few minutes because I have no scheduled guests in the noon hour. That time slot still kind of figuring itself out a little bit, but one of the goals of that time slot is to uh, to be out and about and be broadcasting live from different places in the coming months when the weather gets better. But you can't do that every day, so other days we're just here in the studio doing our thing. I'm going to try to have guests on a lot, um, especially with a little bit of a shorter morning show now. Um, which a lot of days will end at 9 o'clock. That 9 o'clock hour, which used to be a good hour for guests, um, kind of morphs into the noon hour. So in the future, if you have a guest idea for me, I want to say thanks to Maggie Beyer, my friend who has helped out uh, with America's First Responders Fest and Back to Blue. She sends along a lot of great guest ideas to me. And we've had uh, a couple of Maggie suggestions on in the last couple of weeks, one of which was Emily Tyler yesterday during Out to Lunch talking about the fundraiser coming up for Food for Greater Elgin, Pallet to Pallet, on the 22nd of April. So if you ever have a suggestion, if you know my cell phone number, you can text it to me at 901-647-1240. You can always send me an email at mark at wrmn1410.com or whatever way you have of getting in touch with me. I wouldn't recommend Facebook Messenger, though, because I'm not as um, on top of the Facebook Messenger scene as some people are, I guess. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll check Facebook Messenger and I'll see a message from like a couple of weeks ago. So I'm not as good at repeatedly checking Facebook Messenger. I would say the best way would be text message or my email addresses. My radio station email address is mark at wrmn1410.com. There's so many different ways people can get in touch with people these days, right? I have like four or five email addresses, and I check them all pretty religiously. I need to make sure I check my Elgin Township email a little bit more often. Um, the rest of my email addresses, I have one for America's First Responders Fest, a couple personal Gmails, and... And my work email address, mark at wrmn1410.com. Probably the best way to send me a guest idea. And we'll probably try to schedule some of our guests in the Out to Lunch segment where we have a little more time to work with right now. But no guests scheduled for today. And I guess when I have no guests, so the noon hour kind of becomes a continuation of the morning show a little bit. So join me in the noon hour. I'll be back on YouTube. We can take, uh, We can chat a little bit. We can take phone calls. Heck, I'm not opposed to taking Tradio phone calls, even though Tradio technically is not in the noon hour anymore. 7.20 here at WRMN. All right, so I did mention this in the noon hour yesterday. Once again, I want to say uh, thank you for the years of service here locally in the car industry to our friend Steve Stanley from James Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. He is becoming the latest to head down to Tennessee. Maybe I did say it in the morning show, because now I remember James calling about Steve yesterday. But uh, good luck to Steve Stanley, who is moving down to Tennessee, to Crossville, to be with his wife, Joan, 
And uh, they've been doing the long-distance relationship thing since she moved down to Crossville about three and a half years ago. James spent, uh, Steve rather, spent a lot of time um, serving the community as a car salesman at James Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Hampshire. It's a good dealership, and um, a lot of us will miss Steve and the contributions that he made here locally over the years. Good guy. He's the kind of guy that you'd like to have sell you a car. He's not phony. He wasn't a phony guy. So good luck to you, Steve Stanley. It's uh, 721 here at WRMN. This is First Shift 411. Well, every time I drive over to the river in South Elgin, I see the development of the police station as it has just popped up. It has sprung up out of nowhere. Thanks to our mild winter, it has come along a lot faster than I think was projected. And uh, before too long, that South Elgin police station will be open. One of our great listeners on the radio station, Jackie, maybe she's not so thrilled about it because apparently her house was in plain view of the Fox River and now she can't see the Fox River because the police station is going to be in the way of her view. But for the village of South Elgin, it's a good thing. Their police station was uh, antiquated, old, too small. And uh, it is uh, going up, and the new one is. And a part of the new uh, police station area will include a Veterans Plaza. And the Veterans Plaza paver form is available at Village Hall. Pavers will measure four by eight and include the following information. If you were a veteran, and maybe you're from South Elgin, your rank and your name, your branch of service, and your years served in the military. Those who can be recognized with an engraved paver at the Veterans Plaza include current or former residents that are veterans, residents of South Elgin, or a veteran who has a family residing in South Elgin. Engraved pavers will cost 75 bucks so you could purchase one as a gift for your veteran family member if you're associated with South Elgin. Those wishing to contribute 75 bucks to help a veteran who cannot for- afford a paver can do so. Order forms must be turned in and payment processed at South Elgin Village Hall. Proof of enlistment, your DD-214 or current active honorable discharge papers must be copied and turned in with the order form. Contact Jacob Zimmerman at Kane County Veterans Assistance Commission if you have any more questions or you need some assistance. It's Zimmerman Jacob at KaneCountyIL.gov. Zimmerman Jacob at KaneCountyIL.gov. Paver orders are accepted anytime. To ensure your paver is prepared and installed during the Veterans Plaza construction, please place your order by the 11th of April. So you have about three weeks. For those interested in ordering an engraved paver for Footprints in Time, they will have information available on that this summer. For additional information about Veterans Plaza, go to the SouthElgin.com website. And for questions, you can email S.E. Parks and Recreation at SouthElgin.com. That's S.E. Parks and Recreation at SouthElgin.com or call 847-622-0003. 847-622-0003. Good things happening in South Elgin and... We'll find out more about what's happening in South Elgin in a couple of hours. As the friendly voice of the Village Show will be on the air with Craig Pierce this morning. And for the foreseeable future, this might be the last episode of the friendly voice of the Village Show. Um, Craig's pretty busy. And um, I think we're going to go more on an at-need basis with that program in the coming months. Craig, who is kind of the spokesman in a way for South Elgin... Um, He puts out information that the police department wants to put out. He's a photographer for all the South Elgin events, and he handles a lot of South Elgin's communications. That's why I call him the king of communications. 
So he's in touch with what's happening over there. And anytime there's a new business opening or event he wants to talk about, uh, Craig may just call me and we'll do some individualized segments featuring South Elgin without having to have a monthly show. So it's a friendly voice of the village with Craig Pierce this morning at 915. We will do it one more time. And the Brian Kilmeade show this morning will start at 10. Craig also is going to be on with Sherry Ashenbrenner next month on her show, Sherry's Senior Showcase, to talk about something completely different. Um, Craig has his hands involved in uh, several different things here locally, and so he's going to be a part of Sherry's show next month. Craig Pierce and myself engaging in witty banter and more at about 9.15 this morning. 7.27 here at WRMN. So we've talked about South Elgin, we've talked about veterans, and let's talk a little more about veterans and the wall that heals. And coming up soon on the show, I'm sure we're going to be joined once again by Jerry Christofferson from True Patriots Care. We've uh, fi- formed a, a nice association with Jerry, and uh, Jerry's very involved with uh, the veterans here locally, and he runs that organization called True Patriots Care. And we've uh, been proud to be associated with them during America's First Responders Fest and Back the Blue the last couple of years. Jerry's also um, a regular over at the American Legion, and I believe he's co-hosting Lightning tonight. I'll confirm that with the commander, I'm sure, here shortly. And uh, Jerry's the one who wants to promote and um, does promote the Vietnam Veterans Memorial and the Wall That Heals and the national tour that is underway. It's the 29th season. Put it on your calendar for May the 24th through the 27th, Memorial Day weekend in West Dundee. That's when the wall that heals will be here locally. Three-quarter scale wall replica is 375 feet in length. It stands seven and a half feet high at its tallest point. With the replica at this size, visitors are able to experience the wall, rising above them as they walk towards the apex. A key feature in the design of the wall in D.C. Like the original memorial, the wall that heals is erected in a chevron shape. Visitors are able to name rubbings of individual service members' names on the wall. The names are listed in order of date of casualty and alphabetically on each day. The replica is constructed of Avonite, a synthetic granite, and its 144 individual panels are supported by an aluminum frame. Modern LED lighting from the top of the wall provides readability of the wall at night. I'll give you times and more specifics on the wall that heals when we get a little closer to it, but this will be a Friday through Monday event, I believe, the 24th through the 27th of May. The Wall That Heals coming to West Dundee. And this will be over in um, the Randall Oaks um, Zoo area. The Randall Oaks Zoo, I believe, is where the Wall That Heals is going to be set up this time around along Randall Road. So put that on your calendar. It's uh, 730 here at WRMN, AM 1410, and at WRMN Radio on YouTube. Uh, one more little piece of First Shift 411, then we'll move on with the show. Thanks one more time for Emily Tyler's appearance here yesterday during the noon hour. The uh, event is Palette to Palette coming up for Food for Greater Elgin. Experience the tasting event of the year. It's April the 22nd. It's a Monday night. And it's $75. The event takes place from 5.30 until 8.30. And it's like a a taste of Chicago here locally to a certain degree with a lot of our local restaurants offering you samples. Taste the town. Support your local food pantry when you get tickets to attend. Pallet to Pallet. It's Food for Greater Elgin's flagship fundraiser. It's at the Grand Victoria Casino Ballroom, 5.30 until 8.30 on Monday, the 22nd of April. And Delicious Delights will be available from Be Unique Latin Kitchen, Bonefish Grill, Cafe Roma, Coleman's Barbecue here in Elgin, Crumble Cookies, 
The Grand Victoria Casino is going to have a table of food. Lunita's Delights Catering Service. Pupuseria Chicas. And K Cheeto Taco Catering. And probably a few more restaurants will jump in here as well. So uh, go to foodforgreaterelgin.org if you are interested in attending that event. And again, that's on April the 22nd, which happens to be a Monday night. They wanted to have it on Mondays because a lot of these restaurants are not open on Mondays, so they can fully focus on this event. More First Shift 411 coming up next hour at about 8.15. It's 7.32. A little news, and we'll get into our staff meeting here in just a couple of minutes. Still have to prep a haiku for you this morning. I'll work on that. We'll be on the air until 9 this morning with this portion of the show, and then Craig Pierce is in with his show at 9.15. Trivia at about 8.50 this morning. We do have time for trivia today on a Thursday because we will have no First Ward radio report this morning. And I'll be out next week, so we'll... Um, We'll see what happens with the First Ward Radio Report, but uh, Jeff is going to take this morning off, and we're not going to have a First Ward Radio Report today. So a little more of me and you here on a Thursday morning with trivia included in the 850 segment today. Now let's take you back in Elgin time 100 years. Check in with our friend Linda Rock. She is the rock that provides Elgin history for us, and she has some right now. What happened on this date back in 1924? Here are headline stories from Elgin newspapers 100 years ago today, brought to you by the Elgin Area Historical Society. I'm Linda Rock. The stories today were in Elgin newspapers on March 21st, 1924. Indication that the work of cleaning the city's wells may be delayed was evidenced today when Commissioners L.C. Volberding, head of the Water Department, and R.F. Hunter engaged in a heated argument concerning the letting of additional contracts. As a result of the deadlock between the pair, this morning's session was adjourned until this afternoon. The argument began when Commissioner Hunter advocated the awarding of the contract to the Gray firm, with Commissioner Volberding holding out in favor of the Hampshire firm, which had, has just completed a drilling and cleaning operation on the first two wells. Commissioner Hunter contended that the Gray concern was the lowest bidder and should, for that reason, be awarded the contract. Volberding argued that the, the Coney and Coon firm had completed a satisfactory job and, with the machinery on the ground, was ready to continue the work at once. The Elgin YWCA basketball team will play the Janesville, Wisconsin Y girls at the local gymnasium at 7.30 o'clock tomorrow evening. Because of illness of several members of the Elgin team, the lineup is somewhat uncertain, it is announced. The Medina Duck Club will banquet on roast duck at Commandery Hall on Grove Avenue next Monday evening, according to notices sent to members. Lynn W. McGill, Walter Ripberger, and Arthur L. Paulson are members of the committee in charge in charge of dispersing the dispatching of the ducklets in the true oriental fashion. That's it for today. Be sure to tune in again for more news from 100 years ago. And don't forget to visit the Elgin History Museum, located in Old Main at 360 Park Street. You can find its hours of operation and programs offered at www.elginhistory.org. This is McGruff the Crime Dog, and I need you to help me take a bite out of crime. Counterfeit products are popping up everywhere. Fake sneakers, fake cosmetics, and even fake pills. Crooks are selling counterfeit versions of just about everything. Last year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit products were sold in the U.S. Sure, it may seem like saving a few bucks on the things you want isn't a big deal, but counterfeits are usually made in unsafe conditions potentially using hazardous and even lethal ingredients that could harm you and others. And the money you've paid, it goes right into the hands of criminals and may support child labor, drugs, and even gangs. <sighs> Smells like big crime to me. So if you still think buying fake products is harmless, think again. 
And remember, if you don't know where the products came from, how could you know where the money goes? You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Learn more at McGruffPSA.org. This message is brought to you by the United States Patent and Trademark Office and the National Crime Prevention Council. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. So we build specially adapted homes at Homes for Our Troops. And thanks to our donors and supporters, this life-changing gift of freedom is provided mortgage-free to these veterans. But we need you to join us, too, in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Discover the authentic taste of Italy at Maziano's Pizza and Pasteria at Route 20 in Nestler in Elgin. There is one true fact of everyday life that never dulls, the simple pleasure of eating great Italian food. At Maziano's, they'll make sure your dinner or lunch will be the best part of your day. Whether you have a taste for pizza or any of Maziano's homemade Italian recipes, like ravioli or lasagna, they can also cater your party. Enjoy it any way you like, delivery, carry-out, or dine-in. Visit Maziano's.com. For many years, Italian Pizza Kitchen in Roselle has been serving quality and excellence. Italian Pizza Kitchen is family-owned with experience in preparing authentic Italian cuisine with the freshest, highest quality ingredients since the 50s. Your food is always prepared fresh with the same traditions, recipes, and standards that they've perfected over the years. Italian Pizza Kitchen has a passion for great cuisine and customer service. Visit ItalianPizzaKitchen.com. Keeping your car's coolant system in good shape with a regular flush is really important. Let the experts at Meineke Car Care Center at 376 Sundown Road in South Elgin remove your old coolant, preventing chemical buildups in your engine. Then they'll fill your entire system with new coolant to help your engine run smoothly and prevent rust and corrosion, increasing your engine's lifespan. To schedule your appointment, call 847-888-9644. It's the first shift. It's a Thursday. We're headed for the weekend. It is the 21st day of March. Birthday week it would have been for Eddie Money. Good song. I was listening to the radio. this date or this week in 1949 it actually was this date march 21st 1949 when eddie money was born he would have been 75 years old today great songs baby hold on two tickets to paradise that song i want to go back walk on water take me home tonight many many hits he was cranking them out in the late 70s wasn't he eddie money would have been 75 740 here at WRMN AM 1410 on, on YouTube at WRMN 1410 Radio on YouTube. We say good morning to Hector and Jeremiah this morning as they went by at 733. Hell yeah. Morning, Hector and Jeremiah. And good morning to Northwest West and Northwest Wesley Jr. the second. Uh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. What? Uh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. That's what I thought you said. Got the peace sign from Northwest Wesley Jr. the second as they went by at 734 this morning. It's the first shift at 741 right now. 
Honkers log at moderate level today. A handful of honkers have driven by. The Studio 14 Naked Eye Cam activated this morning at 538. We're going to get into our staff meeting a little more hot and heavy here in just a moment. But uh, let's see. Before we do that, let's see what else is happening in the news this morning. I got a notification from director of Shots Fired and a man who gets entertained every other Wednesday night by watching the Elgin City Council meetings on the City of Elgin's website at cityofelgin.org, John Priggy. And uh, John says, let's see. He likes to give me the the report. Wild night at the Elgin City Council meeting last night, says the director of Shots Fired. Uh, they had to take a five-minute recess during the event last night. Yes, I'm calling it an event. Um, it's uh, supposed to be a meeting. This hey, I'm not ready for you, George Benson. I'm ready for some soft jazz, some comfort music. There we go. Hold your horses, George Benson. You might get your turn later. They had to take a five-minute recess to prevent Corey Dixon and Marcus Banner from going at it. Wow. I don't know, Corey. I don't know if you want none of that, Corey Dixon. I think Marcus Banner's a scrapper. You want to scrap with Marcus Banner? I'm not sure if you want any of that, Corey. Maybe one of the council members who routinely listens to the radio should call in and describe what happened at the city council meeting last night. The whole encounter was caught on video and is probably available on YouTube. Well, I wonder if that would make a good good uh, entertainment for the first shift. I wonder if I could drum that up next hour on the show. I'm not sure if I'm technically capable enough, but I'll see if I can maybe work it out. We'll see. Uh, 743 here at WRMN. The Elgin City Council meeting. You can watch it, as our news guy at the top of the order mentioned, by going to cityofelgin.org and uh, videos, I guess. And you can see what happened last night or any night at the Elgin City Council meeting. If you can't make it, you want to watch it live, you can. Or if you want to watch it later, you can. The miracles of modern technology. It's a good way to keep uh, informed on what's happening here locally, and um, a lot of people can't make it live. Life is busy, but that doesn't mean you can't keep up. It's better than a lot of TV. Better than a a lot of television options going on right now, especially if they're fighting. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, 745 here at WRMN AM 1410 and uh, WRMN Radio on YouTube this morning. Little little fight and never hurt no one, huh? Mm. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Corey and Marcus going at it? Mm. Uh. Hey, 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 hey. I think we need a five-minute recess. You guys, calm down. Ooh. 745 here at WRMN on this Thursday morning. Uh, What else is happening in the news this morning? Sorry, I got too much going on here at the same time. Um, two hands and two eyes are not enough for uh, all the controls here sometimes. Okay, let's see. In other news this morning, I think I have a crime time for you. Let's see. I do. Oh, it's first responder crime time, too. That's not good. What time is it? It's crime time. Crime time. First responder gone bad. First responder gone bad. It happens sometimes. They're people too. 
A Naperville firefighter and paramedic is charged with official misconduct, accused of stealing prescription drugs out of a drug collection box. They'll never miss that little bottle of pills. Zachary Volland, age 34, of the 800 block of Preston Lane in Oswego, faces two counts of official misconduct, one count of burglary, one count of theft, and one count of possession of a controlled substance. The charges were filed Monday. Volland turned himself in and was released after being processed. The charges allege that on February the 10th, Volland unlawfully entered a parked vehicle at a Naperville Fire Department station at 1380 Aurora Avenue, intending to commit a theft. That ain't no good. The charges also allege that between February the 1st and the 10th, Volland stole prescription medication from a drug collection box located at a station at 601 East Bailey Road. They'll never miss it. Naperville police investigated the case. The drug charge alleges that Volland possessed methamphetamine found in his work locker. Can we uh, check your locker, Zach? No, it's my locker. You can't check my locker. Why do you want to check my locker? Volland is due to appear in court on April the 15th. So they collect uh, prescription drugs that are outdated from people at the fire departments, I guess. And Mr. Zach Volland thought he might uh, see what was available for himself to take home. What's lost in this whole story is that I hear that Volland was one hell of a firefighter. That's right. What's lost in the whole story is Mr. Volland was apparently a hell of a firefighter. All right, 748 here at WRMN AM 1410 and WRMN 1410 Radio on Facebook. All right, so there's a crime time for you. 12 minutes before the top of the hour. As our staff meeting continues, let's get into the staff meeting a little bit now. Let me drum up the chat room a bit and uh, see what's happening in the chat room today. Dad and son do it all, otherwise known as Northwest West and Northwest Wesley Jr. the second. And went by the radio station a short time ago. Good morning from Junior the Second and I. The tournament starts. March Madness is underway. The commander's got something to say about that. He's an Illinois Fighting Illini fan. We'll see what he's got to say in a moment. But in the meantime, Dad and Son Do It All says, Do you have your brackets completed? No. March Madness means nothing to me anymore. I'm sorry to say. I do not have my brackets completed. And uh, Northwest West says, Go Eli and I. Haven't you guys given up on, well, I guess I haven't given up on the Chicago Bears. But Illinois is always a disappointment in the NCAA basketball tournament. They have good seasons, they get in, and then they get upset right away. So is this year going to be different? We'll see. The Soto family checks in. Good morning, Mark and the first shifters from Hector, Ninny Rose, Jeremiah, and Uncle Boom Boom in the house. Three prayers. Three thumbs up. From uh, Jeremiah and Uncle Boom Boom and Hector and Ninny Rose. Thanks for listening every day. For playing a role in the first shift staff meeting. Being a part of the beehive. Brendan says, hi everybody and happy Thursday. Basic Brendan here. Thanks Brendan for checking in this morning. Good to have you back on the show on a regular basis. Linda Carter checks in. Good morning first shifters. Have a blessed day from LC. Linda Carter recipient of a raffle card yesterday thanks to our friend Gary Dice who answered the trivia question correctly and donated his prize to Linda Carter since Gary's got plenty of those raffle cards at his own fingertips he doesn't need one of his own prizes trivia this morning will give away a bingo card for our bingo game taking place next Friday on 
The radio station, bingo and bidding for bargains next Friday from 10 until 6. And, uh, yeah, I guess it'll start an hour earlier next Friday because of the fact that uh, the morning show now ends at 10 o'clock each day. Um, except on days when it ends at 9 and Brian Kilmeade starts at 9. But the one-on-one show with Leah on Friday starts at 10 now. So we'll have bingo, I'm thinking, starting in the 10 o'clock hour next Friday. I'll see if I can get some clarification on that, how that schedule is going to work today. For next Friday on the radio station. But a bingo card can be yours in about an hour when we do trivia. And also a book. I got First Shift Sherry's book. This is my Elgin. I'm down to my final copy or two of that. And so if you want to do a, a little light reading about great times and great memories of Elgin, uh, you can win a book from First Shift Sherry during trivia this morning in about an hour. I'm going to take mine on my vacation with me and see if I can read the next few chapters of This Is My Elgin. It makes great camper reading. It's uh, 7.52 here at WRMN. Hector sends his standard prayers to the prayer scoreboard this morning. We have 50 on the prayer scoreboard right now, thanks to Hector. The Commander, American Legion Post 57, 820 North Liberty Street, Elgin, Illinois. Mark Smith checks in, says, Happy Thursday, first shifters. Yes, it's burgers and lightning tonight at the Legion. Burgers, 5.30 until 7.30. And you can play lightning with Gordy and Jerry. Those crazy cats lead you through lightning tonight from 6.30 until 8.30. Your chance at a $3,000 jackpot tonight at the American Legion. I think it is going to be burger night at the Legion. As we are going to have an America's First Responders Fest meeting. uh, A meeting of the minds. Um, later on this afternoon, and we're going to have it over at the American Legion. So hopefully we'll start to unveil some, some news pertaining to AM, AF, RF. Um, and soon I'll be able to pass you along to our website again. It's active, but there's old information on it right now. That's AFRF.org for America's First Responders Fest. We'll start posting things on the website putting up on the Facebook page some things as well as we look forward to our next America's First Responders Fest coming up on Saturday, September the 7th at Panton Mill Park. All right, so tonight, American Legion, you go see those wild and wacky cats, Gordy and Jerry, taking you through lightning between 6.30 and 8.30. After you down a burger. It's 7.54 here at WRMN, moving through our first shift staff meeting today. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Fox River Valley, Fox River Valley. The marvelous sky rolls. By the north, south, east, and west, but there's one place that I love so best. It's the Fox River Valley, Fox River Valley. I call it my home. Studio 14, Naked Eye Cam, activated this morning at 5.38 at... 606, my friend of Brenda went by. And friend of Brenda jumped onto the honkers log. As she uh, got there when she got there. You locals can wait for Bre- friend of Brenda. She makes it happen over there in the hut next to Eaton's Redwood Inn, where you first enter Elgin, downtown Elgin rather, at 31 and Chicago Street by the tracks. She's on the right side of the tracks. Eaton's Redwood Inn, well. What side of the tracks do you think it's on? You decide. 7.56 here at WRMN. Gregarious Gina this morning at 6.10. Graced us with her presence, opening up the green room today. At 6.32, we had Anna the Chairman saying peace. Director of Foreign Affairs in the house again. Brought me some solar eclipse glasses. If you're going down south like No Nickname John and his wife Sally, they're going to head to St. Genevieve, Missouri to catch the, the big eclipse coming up on the 8th of March. No, April. It already has been the 8th of March. The 8th of April. 
All right, let's see what else is happening on the Honker's Log. CK, the leader of the band, CK and the Sunshine Band. She brought the boys cupcakes and some other white frosted cakes. They're in the kitchen, boys. When you get here today for your snacking pleasure. At uh, 7.33 this morning, we had uh, Hector and Jeremiah going by the radio station. And then at 7.34, we had Northwest Wes and Northwest Wesley Jr. the second going by. Oh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. Sorry, my music and my sound is coming through on the same volume today, so. Uh, 7.57 here at WRMN. So uh, that's what's happening on the Honkers Log today. More of our staff meeting on the way. There's Mark Cool Blue saying, just hang loose, bro. Cut me some slack, Jack. There's me imitating my soundbite. All right, well, we got about uh, just a minute left or so in uh, this hour of the first shift. We'll catch up on some national news, some local news, sports. Come back with your forecast heading into the weekend. More of our staff meeting. More news stories possible in the next hour. A little more first shift 411 for you. Trivia at the end of the hour in the 850 segment and no first ward radio report today. Craig Pierce is in the house in the 9 o'clock hour with the friendly voice of the village show. We'll catch up on what's happening in the village of South Elgin. Craig's got some wild and wacky stuff for you planned today on his program. And then Brian Kilmeade's show starts today at 10 from 10 until noon, followed by Out to Lunch with me and Sonar. I'll start the show in the noon hour. Sonar will take over somewhere along the line. And we'll take you out to lunch. 7.59 on WRMN. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus is intent in their commitment to open doors and support those who strive for excellence. Too many people have been made to feel that higher education isn't a place for them, that it is someone else's dream. But Columbia College of Missouri has changed all that. With individualized attention and ongoing support, Columbia College knows a future built by you is a future built for you. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus, your new starts now. Visit ccis.edu. Hey there, this is Matt in the mornings, inviting you to live large for less by listening to the Radio Shopping Show weekdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 4 to 6 p.m. and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to noon. Find out more about WRMN from our daily deals to our weekend programming to our open office hours. Check out our website at WRMN1410.com and come see us sometime at 14 Douglas Avenue in downtown Elgin, home of local radio for 75 years. We are WRMN AM 1410 and WRMN 1410 Radio on Facebook. Your hometown radio station since 1949. We are WRMN AM 1410 Elgin time, 8 o'clock. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Prevnar. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page, elginvideo.cityofelgin.org. Honoring its 150-year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? 
Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Celebrating 70 years of serving the Fox River Valley, WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM is proud to inform and entertain you every day with great local shows that keep you connected with the people in your community. Like the Radio Shopping Show, where listeners are encouraged to let us know about their experiences with our business partners. I usually go to Tripleberry during the week. It's not so busy. I had my normal lum- lumberjack omelet. It's like a meat lover's omelet, and uh, their fries are awesome. Just the texture of it, uh, they're a little crisp, soft on the inside. I mean, really good. <laughs> the voice of the valley and the home of the radio shopping show. You are listening to WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's 1-2 in a row. They're 34-35. and Ninth in the East with a three-and-a-half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 2-10 Central tip-off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11.15 a.m. tip-off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won 3-4. of four. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Hey, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Oh, uh-huh. can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get seventy-two hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in. Hide out with friends at Galati's Hideaway in Cary. It's the perfect place for lunch, dinner, and specialty drinks. Check out their sports bar for the best spot to watch games. Try Galati's Dining Room for a relaxing night of dining on their signature Italian dishes. Try their great pizza or the Build Your Own Burger. Galati's Hideaway also has a large variety of entree favorites like prime filets, steak kebabs, salmon, and ribs. Book your party in their banquet room. Visit galatishideaway.com. Family owned for over 40 years with three locations around the Elgin area, Beef Villa is open and ready to serve you. Stop in or drive through and get your lunch or dinner hot and fast. Enjoy burgers, dogs, chicken, and of course, beef is waiting for you at either Elgin locations or South Elgin location of Beef Villa. Stop in for the Friday fish special, Villa Burger, pulled pork, or the incredible salads available from Beef Villa. Need help feeding a large group? Catering is always easy with Beef Villa. Go to beefvilla.com for catering options. Welcome to the 8 o'clock hour of the first shift. It is the 21st day of March, and another hour is getting underway here at Studio 14 in downtown Elgin. 28 degrees right now. Winds are out of the northeast at 3 miles per hour, and we're headed for a high today of about 42. Some snow moving into the forecast overnight tonight before it changes to rain at some point during the day tomorrow. We'll have the Fox Valley forecast coming your way. In just a few moments as we get things going this hour, next hour, Craig Pierce is here with the Friendly Voice of the Village show. 
here on WRMN. WRMN News Time now is 8.06. It is the 21st of March. Let's win this day. Elgin and the Fox River Valley are open for business. Good morning. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Sky Rizzi. Explore proven results with Sky Rizzi. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page elginvideo.cityofelgin.org Honoring its 150-year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Here at WRMN Radio, we try to connect with the community and discuss important issues like our current mental health crisis. Here's Lori Baker, President and CEO of AID. I think most people, when they see young children thinking about suicide at the ages of five and six and seven, I mean, that's shocking to me that children even know that they want to harm themselves somehow. Um, I know it's difficult. Um, I um, uh, definitely um, feel the pinch. We all feel the pinch at the gas pump at the grocery store, right, um, in our rents, but um, I think most people um, could handle 27 cents a day to help uh, kids and seniors and people experiencing homelessness. Discussions like this take place on the first shift, weekday mornings from 6 to 10, right here on WRMN AM 1410 and WRMN 1410 Radio on Facebook. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's 1-2 in a row. They're 34-35. and 35. Ninth in the East with a three-and-a-half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 2-10 Central tip-off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11.15 a.m. tip-off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won 3 of 4. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Psst. Hey. 
I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get 72 hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. Welcome back to the first shift, 8 o'clock hour. We start this hour with the music of George Benson celebrating a birthday this week. George Washington Benson, born on uh, this week in 1943, American guitarist, singer, songwriter, began his professional career at the age of 19 as a jazz guitarist. Oh, yeah, a little R&B for you, if that's what you call that. George Benson here at WRMN. In this hour of the first shift, as we roll on, Craig Pearson in about an hour, and uh, we will have his show, the Friendly Voice of the Village program. So that will be coming up in the next hour at about 9.15 right here at WRMN. During the top of the hour break, I was trying to sift through last night's city council meeting a little bit. See if I could find the spot where the director of Shots Fired was telling me to scroll to. I'm not sure if I found the right spot or not. You know what I'm saying? But uh, maybe I'll uh, try to play a couple of minutes of last night's city council meeting this hour for you. Apparently there was a little spat going on last night between city councilman Corey Dixon and... Marcus Banner, who ran for city council and has uh, been involved locally in uh, in various things, and he, uh, I guess, was at the city council meeting last night. I don't know the whole juxt of what occurred, but it sounds like it was pretty interesting dialogue for a few minutes. I did see Corey saying some things, and then I saw the call for a recess, and then I saw that the camera that was uh, videoing the night just put the city of Elgin logo up on the screen during the recess so from what I could see you couldn't really see what happened during the recess uh, 814 here at WRMN on this uh, Thursday morning they get passionate is that the right word passionate about things at the city council meetings sometimes all right, 815, speaking of City Council, City Councilman Steve Thorne's in tomorrow morning. He's got the Senior Community Spotlight Show, his show that he's had since long before he was an Elgin City Councilman. And he'll be with us tomorrow morning from 930 until 10. And as I was trying to find uh, the uh, moments that got tense in last night's meeting, I saw Chief Anna Lally speaking and the chief is, speaks here every Friday morning. Elgin Police Chief Anna Lally here tomorrow morning from 9 until 9.30 with her Fridays with the Finest show. And I know the chief has a particular agenda in her mind for tomorrow. I think we're going to go to the traffic division tomorrow and see what they've been up to. Within the Elgin Police Department, I believe that's what the focus of tomorrow's show is going to be. Records or traffic? So that's tomorrow morning from 9 until 9.30, a part of our Friday Frenzy. Tomorrow morning, Larry Jones will be back. Larry and Jake's both in as we uh, 
celebrate our Fridays together, the first shift with Larry and Jake's in the 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock hours tomorrow. And hopefully Tim Calderwood will be free again tomorrow morning in the new time that we have for him, which is at 840. And we will start to un unfurl the baseball season for you a little bit. There actually is a lot to talk about in sports tomorrow because we'll get Tim's thoughts on the whole Justin Fields being traded to Pittsburgh by the Bears this past weekend maneuver. Um, How he feels like Caleb Williams might fit in as the Bears quarterback if that's the direction that the Bears go. And Baseball season starts in about a week, so when we talk next Friday, baseball season will be starting, so we'll get Tim's take on baseball, plus March Madness for those who are interested. Uh, Something has happened in my college football, in my college basketball mind. Uh, Somewhere along the line, a long time ago, I was very interested in March Madness, and for some reason it just kind of waned as far as my interest is concerned. But uh, March Madness does get underway today. The Illinois Fighting Illini apparently are playing Moorhead State. Well, we'll see. I know the University of Illinois, in recent seasons when they make the NCAA basketball tournament, things have not gone so well for them. So they cannot overlook Moorhead State when they play the Moorhead Staters this afternoon at about 210 817 here at WRMN. All right, you and me this hour. Trivia coming up in the 850 segment. We're at 28 degrees right now. Winds are out of the north at 3 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy with a high of 42 today. Snow likely tonight. Um, Originally, it was supposed to start, I think, around midnight. Now they've pushed that back a little bit. And we may not be getting much snow until the first shift actually gets cranking tomorrow morning. So... Give yourself a little extra time tomorrow morning. If you've got to get out and about early, you might be getting out at about the time the snow is coming down. So we could have an icy and dicey traffic morning tomorrow morning here in the area. Snow likely, and it should be snowing when the first shift gets started tomorrow. A low of 32 tonight. Snow in the morning tomorrow, then switching to rain with a high of about 41. 100% chance we are going to get some. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot. It'll start as snow. It'll finish as rain. Tomorrow night's low 25, so it could get a little bit icy tomorrow night. And then Saturday, mostly sunny with a high of 38. Sunday, we're back to 44. And then by Monday, we have another rain front coming in. Monday, a chance of rain, high 57 and breezy. And Tuesday, rain likely. Mostly cloudy with a high of 52 and breezy. So back in the 50s for early next week. 28 degrees right now. Winds are out of the north at 3 miles per hour. It is 819 here at WRMN. we got a lot of our staff meetings still to go. Um, I have a little bit of time for uh, a little more First Shift 411 for you. So let's do that real quick now. And let you know that next week we will not have a first shift show. I'm going to take um, the first few days of my vacation this year. And we're going to make a road trip down to Panama City, Florida, I guess, taking the camper down. And um, hopefully having a fun and safe road trip, I hope. It's always a little scary when you take your camper a long distance, but uh, hopefully not as scary as it was last year when I had first gotten the trailer but I'll take nothing for granted because when you do that's when bad things happen right so I'll be cautious and uh, tomorrow or next week rather we will have uh, Doug Steffen on the air he's on every Saturday morning with uh, Good Day Health on Saturdays from 6 until 8 but he also does a show during the week Good Day Mornings with Doug Steffen and uh, you may have um, heard his show if you've uh, been listening to the radio station for the last couple of years we've used it when i haven't been here uh the hopeful plan for the future is to um, keep the morning show local even when i'm not here but we're not quite there yet so one more time we'll have doug stefan and good day mornings next week here on wrmn between six and nine Uh, Next Tuesday, I believe Sonar the Savant Green will be your producer during Carol Gieske's show. 
So I think we'll still have chamber chat next Tuesday with Sonar pushing the buttons. And uh, then next Friday, um, the plan is to continue to have Fridays with the Finest and the Community Spotlight Show in my absence with Sonar once again being here by 9 so he can push the buttons. Remember, you don't say the T. If you're cool, you don't say the T in the middle of words. So it's not buttons. It's buttons. 821 here at WRMN. You got to be hip and young and keep up with the times, right? Talk like the kids talk. Um, Tomorrow morning during out to lunch, which I guess will mean it's afternoon. But uh, during out to lunch tomorrow, we're going to talk with Dr. Robert Renteria. Robert's going to be at the Elgin Township next Thursday, March the 28th. I'm hosting a little seminar. And you can hear him speak about from the barrio to the boardroom. He's been on this show talking about it once before. Um, It's a curriculum that he's trying to get installed in schools around here. Um, Dr. Robert Renteria. We'll find out what that's all about tomorrow as he joins me for a little while between 1230 and 1 during Out to Lunch on a Friday show. And uh, it'll be a little bit of a preview of what to expect if you go see him speak at the township, the Elgin Township, next Thursday night, 5 o'clock. They'd like you to RSVP. Walk-ins are welcome. RSVP preferred. 847-741-2045, the number to RSVP at the Elgin Township. 847-741-2045. Robert says, don't let where you come from dictate who you are. Let it be a part of who you become. From the barrio to the boardroom. Dr. Robert Renteria tomorrow. And also the township's trying to recruit a a Cub Scout troop. And so uh, Dr. Renteria is inviting kids to come to that seminar next Thursday night over at the township with your parents. Uh, Listen to his message and maybe sign up for Cub Scouts. The Elgin Township is trying to have its own Cub Scout pack. So if you know anybody that lives here within the Elgin Township that would like to be a Cub Scout and be a member of the Township's Cub Scout pack, then uh, contact the the, uh, Township at 847-741-2045 or show up next Thursday night, 5 o'clock, for this seminar with Dr. Robert Renteria. He'll be on with me tomorrow at 1230 on our final out to lunch for this week. 824 here at WRMN on a Thursday morning. Thanks for listening to The First Shift. All right, well, in just a moment, as as we have um, something about Mary driving by the radio station. Good morning, Mary. I think she may have waved. Her car was already kind of past me by the time I saw it. Um, let's see. We still have our staff meeting to continue with, so we'll do that here in just a moment. We'll finish up the staff meeting and get to maybe a little more news this hour as well. Trivia in the 850 segment. No Jeff Ward radio report today. It's 824 here at WRMN AM 1410 and at WRMN Radio on YouTube. The first shift continues. 28 degrees, mostly cloudy skies outside. Headed for a high of 42. Looks like we'll have a mostly cloudy day. Maybe a little sunshine. And then snow rolls in tonight. By love of food and wellness, Mockingbird Bar and Garden of East Dundee encourages you to eat seasonal and clean while still indulging a bit. Whether food is served fresh or wood-fired, nothing is overcomplicated. Mockingbird Bar and Garden promises to give your palate something delicious and new and aspires to be a hive of buzz and activity. Start your weekend with an espresso or compliment dinner with wine, specialty cocktails, or craft beer. Visit MockingbirdBarAndGarden.com today. The lightest, fluffiest pancakes are calling your name at JoJo's Diner, 1935 West Golf Road in Schaumburg. JoJo's has a huge breakfast menu featuring skillets, eggs benedict, and so much more. Don't stop at breakfast. JoJo's also offers great burgers, sandwiches, and shakes. And for mouth-watering prime rib, try JoJo's for dinner. They have such a versatile menu. JoJo's Diner is family-owned and operated, and it's one of Schaumburg's best-kept secrets. Visit JoJo'sDiner.com today. 
There's a hidden gem in Elgin's South End. It harkens back to the days when going to a diner with family and friends was where everybody gathered for a delicious breakfast or lunch. Ray's Family Restaurant at 801 St. Charles Street in Elgin is a diner that you'll love with tasty food. The atmosphere and the staff are friendly and fast. They're open until 3 p.m. daily. You can never go wrong with Ray's. Visit raysfamilyrestaurant.com. That's raysfamilyrestaurant.com. Good wine and food bring people together. Vine and Plate Wine Bar and Provisions serves globally inspired plates and wines from around the world, bringing people together and creating moments that focus on what life is all about. Vine and Plate offers shared plates, flatbread, sandwiches, and salads. You can choose wines from everywhere, and there's an extensive whiskey list, too. Ingredients matter. Quality matters. Every detail matters. Visit thevineandplate.com today. Hey, hey, 827 here on the first shift. Cloudy skies, 28 degrees. Thanks for joining me, Marky B. Phone lines are always open on the show, by the way. Larry Jones and Jake's back tomorrow morning. We'd love to talk to you. And um, catch up on what's happened during the week today. Tomorrow morning during the first shift, which fires up at 7 o'clock. Well, the first shift starts at 6, but uh, Larry and Jake's are with me starting at 7. Let's take it outside. How about that right now to the phones at 847-931-1410. On this tremendous Thursday morning, we check in with our boy, David. Hey, David. Hello. So, yeah, so WBIG doesn't even have a shopping show on air right now. Really? Yeah, and Chuck, uh, let's see, not Chuck. I'm going back in time. Uh, what's his name? The real talk guy, uh, Steve Martin. He doesn't even work there anymore. Yeah, I know. So uh, you don't know who bought the station? Not related to WRMN? No, it's not related to WRMN. I don't remember the guy's name that took over there, but they're going in a different direction, I guess. What direction do you know? That they're going in. Yeah. I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I really don't keep up with what they're doing. Right, right. Understood. But, uh, yeah, they, they called me again, uh, maybe fundraising, at 299 a year, and you get $100 a month in certificates. So you get 1200 a year for the 299 Or you could be on a monthly membership of 40 you get 100 But with over 10000 in credit card debt, I have to... I'm out. Hmm. Well, it sounds like they're still doing radio shopping if they're doing that then, right? Yeah, but not on the air. I don't know how it works, but you could call in like certain hours and, and get certificates or online, I guess. So that's just an update of what I found found out. Not important, but perhaps remotely interesting. But Yeah, well anyway. I don't yeah, we're going to separate directions, but I don't know. I mean if they discontinue radio shopping then maybe Maybe if we're lucky, some of the things that they did have that we didn't have will end up getting over here. We'll see. That could be. Yeah. So, so did, did it? How many? So does WRMN still have any of the original? They don't have many salesmen except for Leah, right? Leah's the main person right now, but everybody that works here can be involved in sales one way or another. Even you. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it could yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Anything new with you? Mm, getting ready to go on vacation. When do you leave? I think we're going to leave at about 5 o'clock tomorrow night, which okay. is a little bit scary because it could be raining and snowing or whatever at that time, but that's our goal. Yeah, that's why I'm going to do my big three tonight. I'm not messing with Kenosha and the snow that's going to end in the afternoon tomorrow. Yeah. How long of a drive is it going to be? Are you, are you driving straight through? No. Since we have the camper, we're going to go for a few hours and crash and a few hours and hike and a few hours and do this and that and eventually get there probably by Monday morning in Panama City. How close to the ocean is that? It's real close, but it's at the very northern tip of Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And then you'll be gone all next week and then back following Monday morning. Yep, if the creek don't rise and the good Lord's willing, I'll be back uh, the following Monday morning, April the 1st. 
All right. So have a good time. All right, buddy. Safe trip, and I, I'll talk to you when you get back. All right. See you, David. See you later. Bye. Bye. David checking in with your WBIG update. It's uh, 831 here at WRMN on a Thursday morning. David's a multi-station shopper, or has been in the past at least. There's the mystery man. Driving by the radio station, that's the mystery man in the small beige van. You know who I'm talking about. Talking about Dick. Wow. Yes, Dick. Springing into action as he goes from north to south on your radio dial on a Thursday morning. He's quite sprung today. 831 here at WRMN. We're on YouTube and we're going to finish the chats on YouTube and also go to VIT messages and maybe I'll try to catch a snippet of the city council meeting from last night here in the city of Elgin. And we will have our trivia in about 20 minutes or so. It's been a big trivia week here on the station. I have a bingo card to give away during trivia today. So listen in about 20 minutes for that. Along with a book for Shif Sherry's book. This is my Elgin. Nice trivia prize pack today. If you're not in trivia jail, we've sent a couple of folks to jail this week. As we've had a busy trivia week here on the show. All right, let's see what else is happening. Get back to the chat room we go. The commander told us about lightning tonight over at the American Legion and Burger Night. And um, Crazy Kathy's in on YouTube. She says, hi. Hi, Crazy Kathy. She's keeping it short and sweet today. The commander checks in. If you can't make it for dinner tonight, hey, don't forget, you can join us for $2 steamed hot dogs starting at 11 a.m. this morning. In fact, every day except for Sunday at the American Legion. Steamed hot dogs, two bucks, American Legion, every day, 11 a.m. So if you're looking for a quickie, talking about a hot dog, a quickie hot dog, then ease on over to the American Legion anytime after 11 a.m. And don't forget that next Monday, the Queen is worth $22,174. 22174 you can get your tickets any day. Five prayers from the commander. We have 55 on the prayer scoreboard. Dennis D. Not So Young checks in from down yonder in Texas this morning. Good morning, first shifters. Have a great day and stay safe. So you're not called out. Dennis D, not so young, checking in. The director, Dean DeLaley, is in the house. Operations manager, WRMN Radio. Morning, Marky B, the first shifters in the Fox Valley. Remember that variety is the spice of life. And WRMN wants to hear your ideas and comments on or off the air. We are here for you. Thank you. Thank you. The director, Dean DeLaley, checking in. Dino, you can call him. That's what it's going to say on his business card, I think. Or at least that's going to be his email address. Dino at WRMN1410.com if you ever want to reach out to Dino. The Sultan of South Elgin right now would be heavily anticipating our weekly report from Jeff Ward since it is 835. We're not going to have it this week. So the Sultan of South Elgin says, no Jeff Ward. Woo hoo. Sultan, not a big fan. 835 here at WRMN. And uh, let's see. The Sultan of South Elgin says, do it, Marky. There is the Sultan of South Elgin right on cue driving by the radio station. As I speak about him, I love it when that happens. Um, He says, we need more banners and less Dixons in Elgin politics. More banners and less Dixons, (laughs) says the Sultan of South Elgin. I may try to catch a snippet of last night's Elgin City Council meeting in a few minutes here if we can stay ahead of the game with our staff meeting. 
We got uh, terrific Terry checking in, saying happy Thursday to all. Enjoying the show. Thanks, Terry, for listening in on this Thursday morning. And uh, Crazy Kath now opens up a little bit after that original high message and says, LOL, LOL, LOL. Oh, my goodness. Let's take it outside. How about that? It's the Banner-Dixon battle at the Elgin City Council meeting last night. Who are you going to wager on in that fight? I'm not sure. I think Marcus Banner's pretty scrappy. Corey? Corey looks like he's in pretty good shape, but I don't know if I want to scrap with Banner. 836 here at WRMN. Brandon says, happy Thursday to all enjoying the show. Thank you for listening, Brandon. Wonderful, wonderful Wilma. Wilma Cash Cash is in this morning at 746. She said, good morning, Marky B and our first shift friends. Have a great and blessed day. The wonderful one, the legend, Wilma Cash. And she says, and I love a brand new week, even though it's Thursday. Well, thanks for checking in, Wilma. We are now at 56 prayers on the prayer scoreboard. All right, let's take a phone call. 847-931-1410. It's the phone call that Dynamite Denise has been waiting for all morning long as we check in with Mean Gene in the A1 machine. Hey, Gene. Hey there, Mark. How you doing? I'm okay, man. How you doing? Doing okay. There's uh, physical therapy up here in St. Joe. It's a, it's a different therapy. It's a lady's name. I can't remember. I can't recall her name right now. Um, she bought out all the therapy uh, different hospitals and places. Okay. And uh, can I get a blanket, please? A blanket? Yeah. And um, it's uh, it's been really good. So um, you coming come along? along? Come a long way. But um, I want to say, uh, yeah, I hear you're leaving for a week. Yeah. Um, after tomorrow, we'll be gone on a road trip for a little while. Okay, well. You have a good time and be safe, please. Yeah, I'll try, man. Um, what's your prognostication? You feeling okay these days? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be getting out, I'm not sure, pretty soon. Um, I want to give a helping hand if I can, uh, anytime I can. Uh, you're, well, first, I want to say hi to Dean Zoyley. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. And I want to say be careful on your trip and have fun. And um, sure. Well, thank you. Talking about the uh, there's some of the hot dogs at at the Legion. Yeah, two bucks. Yeah, I've seen. Um, I'm not sure if it's, these are the same ones, but I've seen the lady a lady leaving, going with her boyfriend for lunch at Red Lobster. Yeah. And the bartender asked her where she was going, and she said to Red Lobster, "My boyfriend just called me to pick me up." And she said, well, we're just to let you know we're having the hot dogs today, the big fat ones. Yeah. She stopped and turned around, and she said, the big fat ones? And she thought about it. So they got to be pretty good to, to even contemplate going to Red Lobster to the big fat ones, you know? Yeah. So I guess they're a mouthful. I hope I... <laughs> At the American Legion. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If there's a, they should be pretty good. <laughs> and two bucks. They're affordable, too. Yep. Yeah. So, well, you keep taking care anyway. of yourself, man. So when you leave there, are you going to go back to your apartment at that point? Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah. going home. Okay. Going home. Going home. Yeah. Time to get started. Oh, it's a good it's a old song. It's an old song or something like an old movie. Yeah. One or the other. But well, um, that's all I wanted to say. And um, All right. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you for having me. And I'm going uh, to see about, I'm not in jail, am I? No, no, you're not in jail. You can call Trivia here shortly if you get a chance to. All right. Give me something to do. Yeah. All right, my friend. I'll talk to you maybe in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Mean Gene in the A1 machine which uh, did him wrong a few weeks ago, and that's why he's going through the rehab once again. 
And uh, I'm just glad he's uh, fighting and hanging in there and uh, trying to come back. And he's uh, in his latest rehab assignment over at St. Joe's. And uh, we'll see if we can get him out again soon and figure out uh, how to get him back circulating in life again. And uh, he'll just be happy to be free and feeling better. Mean Gene, one of our great listeners, one of our great Elginites around here. 841 here at WRMN. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Crazy Kathy says... I don't know what she's saying. Next, Sensational Shelly checks in. Good morning to y'all. What a beautiful day it's going to be, says the Sensational One. So tomorrow is the start of the Wisconsin State Wrestling Tournament, and I am happy to say I have two grandkids competing. Yes. Well, good luck to the grandkids, Sensational Shelly. Competing in the Wisconsin High School State Wrestling Tournament. That's very cool. I imagine you're going up to watch some of the wrestling matches. 83 prayers now on the prayer scoreboard. The Dutchman's Wood Shack checks in. Good morning. Coffee's up, says the Dutchman's Wood Shack. Be safe. It's a thirsty Thursday, says the Dutchman's Wood Shack. Marv the Mailman checks in this morning on YouTube. Please, 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 can Steve Thorne's show go back to an hour again, says Marv the Mailman. I always learn a, a few things and laugh every show. And it is your favorite show during that time, says Marv the Mailman. Thanks for your thoughts, Marv the Mailman. Thanks for being a good mailman and a loyal listener, and uh, we'll see what happens. Kimmy D checks in. Happy Eve of the weekend, says Kimmy D. She always gets fired up by the weekends. She likes to have fun. Kimmy D like to have fun. Good morning to all. Good morning to all, period. Two days and I get to go see my granddaughter and her mom and dad. It's going to be a great week, says Kimmy D. Looking forward to some good things coming up. 12 prayers from the prayer scoreboard. And Marv the Mailman has more good things to say. He says, Sherry's Senior Showcase show, which was on the air Tuesday, was awesome. I learned a lot about layering my food and taking that tablespoon of vinegar with water. Yeah, that's an interesting habit to get into. I'm down with trying that. I don't have diabetes, but I guess you're always trying to prevent yourself from getting diabetes too, right? So um, it's got to be good for you. Put a little vinegar in a maybe a bottled water. If you drink a bottled water, you hardly notice it, and it's good for you. Also, Steve's monthly show was famously great as well. Gail Borden was a dude. Yes. Gail Borden had to go through his whole life with the first name Gail. But it didn't stop him from being a successful man. Marv the Mailman checking in. She enjoyed He enjoyed your show, Sherry, on Tuesday. That was a good show. Thanks for doing your show every month. Senior Sherry's Senior Showcase on the third Tuesday of every month at 9.15 right here on WRMN. Hey, Dynamite Denise checks back in and says, Take care, Mean Gene. We are all behind you. You can do this. You can do this. Blessings says Dynamite Denise. All right. And I think that takes us out of YouTube for now. We'll see if any other comments pop up while I check the VIT messages for a few minutes. 845, first shift staff meeting here on a Thursday. And uh, let's see. Let's go way back in time to Linda Carter. Linda Carter in the house. Linda Carter, Linda Carter, Linda Carter. Can't find her soundbite. Whoosh! Linda Carter. Checking in this morning on VIT messages. She sends 15 prayers to the prayer scoreboard. She opened the office doors this morning at 12.01. 
We have 91 prayers on the prayer scoreboard. Tony Cool stamped the show. Let's us know this is staff meeting number 57 of 2024. That's 1014 ACB. After counting began. The, 100 and, uh, the 1014th staff meeting and the 57th so far this year. Thanks for keeping track. The one and only Tony Cool. Cartman Dan checks in. He's leaving Oceanside, California today. Next stop, Las Vegas for Cartman Dan. He's a wild man. A quick visit in Vegas. My girlfriend will be having surgery next Tuesday to repair the collarbone, says Cartman Dan. She has been seeing a juvenile and mature bald eagle flying around the house every day since coming back. I guess she is back around here now, and there's a bald eagle in the area. Have a great trip to Florida. Thanks for the picture of the bald eagle, Cartman Dan. Have a safe trip back yourself, buddy. Comforting Kathleen checked in at 4.36 this morning. Good morning, Mark and the First Shifters. Wishing you all a wonderful and safe Thursday. CK sends six prayers these days. To our prayer scoreboard, we have 97 prayers on the prayer scoreboard. Stay safe so you're not called out. Comforting Kathleen. Won't be in the house tomorrow morning. I won't be seeing much of CK here for a while. I'll be out next week and then... She will be going on vacation after that. Blackhawks Brad gave us the word of the day. I never gave it to you today. Oh, yes, I did. I gave it to you, but I never used it in a haiku. Whippersnapper. An unimportant but offensively presumptuous person, especially a young one. You young whippersnapper, you. Let's win this day. The American flag flies. The eagle flies over the fabulous Fox River and... Prayer number 98 from Blackhawks Brad. Enjoy your day, everyone, says BHB. Nando checked in this morning at 5.06. Good morning and happy Thursday, everyone. Enjoy your day with lots of smiles. A smile is worth a thousand words. I just made that up. A smile is worth a thousand words. No, I think something else is worth a thousand words, but let's go with smile right now. All right, well, we had uh, Genius George sending a message this morning about the new Chicago Cubs pitcher to me, and also a report on the Los Angeles Dodgers Japanese pitcher, who I guess is making his debut today, this morning, as the Dodgers and Padres are playing real games in Korea somewhere. Welcome to the show, Mr. Yamamoto. Dodgers mega money Japanese pitcher gives up five earned runs in the top of the first. This was earlier this morning. San Diego five, Dodgers nothing early in the game today. A real game taking place, I guess, in Korea. They went and played a couple of the regular season games, and then they're going to come back to the United States after that and get the regular season started. Dodgers and the Padres. So... There you go. Let's see. Thank you uh, for that update. He also is getting fired up about the Cubs Japanese pitcher. The previous caller is. All right. Other comments this morning. We had uh, Dennis D. Not So Young checking in. Good morning, First Shifters. Have a great day. He checked in on YouTube and via VIT message this morning. And, uh, yep, thanks for the information this morning. Director of Shots Fired, John Priggy. Sam I Am checks in. And he's uh, sending me information on how to combine all my emails together so that they come through on my inbox on my cell phone so that I don't have to surf five different email addresses to see all of my emails. Thank you for trying to give me that tip to success. Sam I Am, championship runner, soon to be running in the Chicago Marathon in 2024. The Commander checks in, says, yeah, Corey Dixon threw a few insults at Marcus Banner last night. I was just getting my popcorn together for the showdown when Mayor Kay called for a five-minute recess. <laughs> 
That's funny. All right. Well, let's see. It is uh, 8.51. I know I'm getting myself in a jam here, but you know I like to do that. So let me see if I can pick up that moment last night before the before the city council meeting was delayed and recessed. Let's see. Anna Lally's talking here. Now we're going to get Corey Dixon. Let's see if I can pick this up for a minute. This is Corey Dixon talking to and about Marcus Banner at the Elgin City Council meeting last night. Corey's an Elgin City Councilman. Marcus Banner is um, a local concerned citizen, let's say. Person, they wouldn't come forward. Um, this is the not chief, Anna Lally, speaking right now. You know, that's new information or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, Here we and, go. Uh, who drafted the document, the, what's being proposed tonight? Who, who drafted it? The ordinance? Yeah. The legal department? The legal department drafted yes. the ordinance. Okay. Yes, I'm not and, an attorney. I, yeah. That's not a set of questions no. for you. <laughs> right? That's not. Because <laughs> I'm making a point because I certainly didn't write it. No, 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 okay. no. The, no, our attorneys do. This is Anna Lally and Corey right, Dixon so going back and forth. Since I was called out by Mr. Banner, I just want to tell you, Brother, I love you. Hold on, hold on, let me talk. You talk, I didn't interrupt you. Hold on, hold on. I didn't interrupt you. I didn't interrupt you. When you spoke, I'm going to talk, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. You had your time. I never interrupted you. You had your time, and I respected you as a man. I let you speak. I never said anything. No, 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 no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hold on, hold on. Not true. We did have a meeting. We did have a meeting. Was nothing at that point was drafted. It was the idea. No, there was an idea. The idea was to have a civilian review board. Okay. I brought forward the idea of having a civilian review board. I put it up for vote and everybody voted on it and it was approved. I intentionally stepped away from the task force when they were reviewing or going over and creating uh, this ordinance. I had no part in it. As a matter of fact, we voted to appoint Councilwoman, uh, Councilwoman Powell to the Civilian Review Board to be as a liaison. Corey had nothing to do with it. Corey intentionally stayed away from it. You see, but Corey did what he was supposed to do because Corey don't just talk. See, Corey gets stuff done, right? And what, and what Marcus does is he just sits there and does a whole lot of nothing. You know, he, he, he ain't completed anything. He ain't completed a thing. You ain't completed a thing, all right? You talk a good game, you get people riled up, and you do nothing. You have no accomplishments. You have no accomplishments, right? And then, and then you're not even professional. You think, you think, no, no, you let's said my to name. Stick, and let's then, try to stick to the uh, subject here. I, and, 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 listen, hold on. You think, you think that you think because so. you say something that people are just going to listen. You don't even make no sense, bro. You don't make any sense. You act like I wrote the ordinance. I didn't write the ordinance. I didn't write the ordinance. I didn't write the ordinance. Listen, you had time on the task force to do something about it and what you do. You didn't do anything is what you did. All you did is speak. You did nothing. You, you did nothing. So to, in conclusion, in conclusion, in conclusion, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish right now. I second it. You guys can sort this out. Let the council take a seat. And there you go. Ah, yes. And the commander was just getting his popcorn and... Dave Captain had to ruin things by calling a recess last night, and uh, the fight had to stop. 8.55 here at WRMN. Yes. Sorry, Commander. Then you had to watch the City of Elgin banner instead of Marcus Banner and Corey Dixon. All right, it is 8.55 here at WRMN. Ah, yeah. Hey, good morning, Tennessee. <laughs> nice comment, Carrie. I see your comment. Westside Freddy checking in. I'll leave it alone, though, Carrie. Uh, Westside Freddy checking in to uh, close up our, our staff meeting today. All right. 
And uh, Stevie T says, I do watch, uh, re- recommend that you watch the city council meeting last night. Corey Dixon was an embarrassment to the council and the city. And to think he wanted to be mayor, says Stevie T. All right. Stevie T will be in tomorrow morning for his show, the Senior Community Spotlight Show. All I can say is to watch it and remember his actions the next year when you vote. It was shocking, says Stevie T. All right, we don't have time to take a break. So if you want to do trivia, let's do it. 847-931-1410. I'm up against the clock. I always put myself in that position. 847-931-1410. And let me ask you a question and see if you can give me an answer. And it's good for a bingo car for next Friday's bingo game. And it's good for a first shift sherry. This is my Elgin book. Some good reading for you, Gene Wheeler. He's on the line at 847-931-1410. It's time to read her book about Elgin. Today's question is... Hmm. Okay. Long, long before there was being woke, there was a local movement called the Wide Awakes in the late 1850s. They paraded and carried signs in support of who or what. The Wide Awakes in the late 1850s. They paraded and carried signs in support of who or what. 8479311410. Were they carrying signs in support of an Abraham Lincoln presidential candidacy? B. Banning alcohol. C. Bringing the railroad through Elgin. Or D. Women's right to vote. Let's see if Mean Gene can give us a quick answer here before I get cut off at the end of this hour. Uh, good morning, Mean Gene. Good morning. You want to take a shot at this, buddy? Sure. Okay. What do you think? I'm going to go with C. C. Um, bringing the railroad through Elgin is what they were saying, uh, carrying signs about. Our survey says... Ah. Oh. Sorry, Mean Gene. All right. Good try, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. You All right, bye. Mean Gene, the only taker on trivia today, but that's okay because it's time for the top of the hour. Craig Pierce is going to be in in a few moments, and the friendly voice of the village, village South Elgin show is coming up next hour. Brian Kilmeade at 10. Keep it right here on WRMN. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus is intent in their commitment to open doors and support those who strive for excellence. Too many people have been made to feel that higher education isn't a place for them, that it is someone else's dream. But Columbia College of Missouri has changed all that. With individualized attention and ongoing support, Columbia College knows a future built by you is a future built for you. Columbia College of Missouri Elgin Campus, your new starts now. Visit ccis.edu. WRMN says thank you to all of our local veterans, like Jerry Christofferson of True Patriots Care. We had the 1,700 flags up across from the wall. That's how many POWs and MIAs from Vietnam are still missing. Plus, we do veterans and first responders' funerals. Yeah. And uh, so if you ever drive by a funeral home or a church or a cemetery and you see the flags, you know a a soldier died today. Go to truepatriotscare.com for more information. And veterans, thank you for your service to our country. Your hometown radio station since 1949, we are WRMN AM 1410, Elgin Time, 9 o'clock. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Prevnar. Honoring its 150-year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page, elginvideo.cityofelgin.org. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. 
by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or it's free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter the time of the day, WRMN 1410 AM is your platform to voice your views, share your stories, and connect with the Valley like never before. We're more than just radio. We're a community conversation that's always live, always local, and always looking for your input. Want to chime in on the drive time deal with Matt McNeil? Got a hot tip for first shift with Marky B? Or maybe you've got a question for a one-on-one with Leah. Now's the time to make your voice heard by calling Studio 14 at 847-931-14. That's 847-931-1410. You can join in the dialogue from wherever you are by commenting on our YouTube live streams at WRMN Radio. Hit the subscribe button to get notified when we go live and bring your comments to the table. It's easy, it's fun, and hey, it's what neighbors do. We talk, we listen, we engage. You're not just the audience, you're part of the show. Call in, comment, and let's make radio interactive. WRMN 1410 AM, where your words are part of our wavelength. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 210 Central tip off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11:15 a.m. tip off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6-2 loss at Los Angeles. The Hawks had won three of four. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's won two in a row. They're 34-35. and 35. Ninth in the East with a three-and-a-half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Um, I have a secret. Uh huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpits stink. Uh huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my. Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get seventy-two hours of freshness from my pits to my. Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and. Cr- It's always exciting to hear Elgin business owners like Tanner Melvin of Side Street Studios share positivity about the local community. Elgin is on its way, and it has been, and sometimes, I mean, we got set back the pandemic, and it's been rough. Everyone has felt it in so many different ways. What we're trying to do is a lot of hand-holding and shoulder rubbing and being like, it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get this town a lot more money. We are very lucky to live in this community right now. There's nothing like this around here. Feel the positive power of the first shift with me, Marky B, weekday mornings on WRMN. Hey parents, even though it's chilly out, it's not too early to start thinking about summer activities for your kids. Adrenaline Monkeys Adventure Summer Camp in West Dundee is the perfect place to get your kids moving this summer. This week-long adventure camp features safe, fun activities like obstacle courses, climbing, and educational demos. Full and half-day offerings are available and are ideal for ages 5 through 12. The sledding and snowman building won't last forever, so enroll the kids now for summer 2024 at AdrenalineMonkeyFun.com.
Hey, hey, it's 906 here at WRMN, AM 1410, and at WRMN Radio on YouTube. And it is the final hour of the first shift. And it is 29 degrees outside under calm conditions, just chilly this morning. And it uh, kind of looks like snow a little bit, doesn't it? 29 right now. We're headed for a high of 42 today. Clouds, maybe a little bit of sun at times today. But then some snow rolls in deep into the middle of the night tonight and through the first shift tomorrow. In fact, uh, snow in the forecast changing to rain. Tomorrow's high 40. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow's high 41 before it dries up for a sunny Saturday with a high of 37. Craig Pierce is here, and the friendly voice of the Village Show is moments away. We'll talk about South Elgin. WRMN News Time now, 9:07 here on the 21st of March. Good morning. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Brought to you by Prevnar. The Elgin City Council met last night. If you didn't get a chance to see the meeting, you can find the meeting on the City of Elgin YouTube channel. It's also on the city's on-demand video page, elginvideo.cityofelgin.org. Honoring its 150-year legacy, a massive crowd gathered at Gail Borden Library in Elgin to celebrate its impact on the community this past Tuesday. Mayor David Kaplan praised the institution, calling it possibly the best of its kind in the nation. He punctuated the library's significance by dubbing 2024 as the Gail Borden Library Year. In the Republican primary for District 12 seat on the Kane County Board, Bill Roth seems to have earned victory over challenger Michelle Gein. With all the votes counted, Roth had 87 more votes than Gein, totaling around 756. With your AM 1410 WRMN News Flash, I'm Sean Kernan. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Progressive asks, what do a late night pizza craving? Pizza place. Can I get one large pepperoni pizza? A newly licensed teen delivery driver. A guaranteed delivery time or its free offer. And your front fence have in common? Uh-oh. That's my fence! They can turn your stomach upside down in under 30 minutes. I'm still getting a tip, right? Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states or situations. We asked seniors how to prevent Medicare scams. My best advice, if you get a phone call, do not talk to the person. These people are well-trained. Don't talk to them. They don't know me. They're just trying to scam me. Don't be fooled. Hang up. Just hang up. Never give out your Medicare number. They're going to get your number to put in a false claim. If I get a call from someone, I don't pick up the phone. And should I pick up the phone and they ask for information, then I hang up. How do you detect Medicare fraud? Just like I check my credit card statements, I check my Medicare statements monthly. Scammers can get a hold of your number, order medical devices through your account, and you're not even going to know about it if you don't look at your statement. Check your statement every month. If you get your statement and you see something that you know you did not have done, you report it. Call your senior Medicare patrol. To report Medicare fraud, call the senior Medicare patrol at 800-699-9043. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. Illinois men's hoops battles Moorhead State today. 210 Central tip off at the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Illini coach Brad Underwood. This group is very healthy. We're playing our best basketball. Uh, I feel like we're whole. East regional action tomorrow from Boston. Northwestern battles Florida Atlantic. That's an 11.15 a.m. tip off. The Blackhawks visit the Ducks tonight. Chicago opened up their West Coast road trip with a 6 2 loss. At Los Angeles, the Hawks had won three of four. The trip continues Saturday at San Jose. The Bulls visit the Rockets tonight. Quick trip down to Texas before they return home to host the Celtics on Saturday. Chicago's won two in a row. They're 34 and 35. Ninth in the East with a three and a half game lead over 10th place Atlanta. Bundle auto and home, renters or condo, and save with Progressive. I'm Chuck Sanders on News Talk Radio 1410 WRMN. 
I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com. Hey, I have a secret. Uh-huh. I use secret whole body deodorant because more than just my armpit stink. Uh-huh. Can I use it where my bra rubs under my... Oh, <laughs> yeah. And what about down there? You know, my... Totally. Four out of five gynecologists would recommend it. So I tried it, and now I get 72 hours of freshness from my pits to my... Ooh, I love that it's a spray. Me too. And it comes in sticks and creams too. Go get your secret whole body deodorant. Hey there, this is Marky B from the First Shift Morning Show, and on my show, I try to make local movers and shakers feel comfortable when they join me for interviews, like Sherry Blazier of the Elgin History Museum. I think I need to note to you that I just looked at my mood ring, and it is perfectly purple, which means I'm very happy and content and sailing along. I figured if I immersed myself in the accoutrements, I would be in the mood for this. Huh. Accoutrement? Is that what you said? Accoutrement. What she said. Just join me mornings from 6 until 10 a.m. right here on WRMN. A dream that's been cooking for years. Maria's Little Italy in Sycamore is waiting for you to come and enjoy authentic recipes handed down for generations. Stop in and enjoy bruschetta, handmade focaccia bread, pizza, pasta, sandwiches, and more. Dine in, take out, delivery, or catering is all available. Go to mariaslittleitaly.com and see what you've been missing. From their family to yours, welcome to Maria's Little Italy, where food brings families together. Everything is fantastic at the China House Buffet on Sycamore Road in DeKalb. Scrumptious food combined with a wide variety of flavors, all served with love, await you. Choose from Chinese delicacies like Shanghai shrimp rolls, crab rangoon, and spare ribs. There's seafood, beef, as well as chicken wings and shrimp. The China House doesn't stop at Chinese food on the buffet. They also have Japanese favorites, including beef teriyaki, sushi, and hibachi, plus American food. Tempt your taste buds. Visit eatchinahouse.com today. Roll into Bolero in Algonquin or Roselle and solve your cabin fever issues. Bolero is bowling, gaming, dining, and nightlife with a twist. Score fun deals every day of the week and save big by checking out the daily deals online. Bowl with your friends and hit the lanes each week by forming your own social club. Clubs offer lively competition and fun times for everyone. From beginners to pros, make new friends, bowl, and beat your cabin fever. Visit Bolero.com. Looking for a place to try for breakfast or lunch? You'll find a gem of a restaurant with amazing food and great prices at the Triple Berry Cafe, 435 Angela Lane in Crystal Lake. For breakfast, try Triple Berry Strawberry Cheesecake French Toast, Ribeye Steak and Eggs, or Carnitas Skillets. At lunch, there's the AM Burger or Chipotle Chicken BLT. There's delicious homemade cream of mushroom soup. For tasty home cooking, Triple Berry Cafe is the place to be. Visit TripleBerryCafe.com. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. No matter the time of the day, WRMN 1410 AM is your platform to voice your views, share your stories, and connect with the Valley like never before. We're more than just radio. We're a community conversation that's always live, always local, and always looking for your input. Want to chime in on the drive time deal with Matt McNeil? Got a hot tip for first shift with Marky B? Or maybe you've got a question for a one-on-one with Leah. Now's the time to make your voice heard by calling Studio 14 at 847-931-14. That's 847-931-1410. You can join in the dialogue from wherever you are by commenting on our YouTube live streams at WRMN Radio. Hit the subscribe button to get notified when we go live and bring your comments to the table. It's easy, it's fun, and hey, it's what neighbors do. We talk, we listen, we engage. You're not just the audience, you're part of the show. Call in, comment, and let's make radio interactive. WRMN 1410 AM, where your words are part of our wavelength. Rooted in their family Mexican history, churros are made daily with love. Churros and Chocolate at 2533 West Algonquin Road has churros made from family recipes with care. 
and fresh each day with delicious fillings. There's also the Frida Cafe where you can relax and catch up with a friend while having a warm drink. Try churros and chocolate specialty churros, the churro sundae, or take home a churro cake. Visit churros, the letter Y, chocolateinc.com. Final hour of the first shift today is shifting gears. Brian Kilmeade is today going to start at 10. Uh, 10 until 12 right here on WRMN, the Brian Kilmeade Show, before Out to Lunch with WRMN. Right now, it's the friendly voice of the Village Show as we ease into hour four of the first shift today. And uh, Craig Pierce is here to engage in some witty banter. <laughs> He's the king of communications from South Elgin, by the way, <laughs> if you've never heard the show before. First better, time? <laughs> <laughs> you better listen intently because it might be, not be, the, it might be, could the, be last. the last show. <laughs> this could be the last show for That's a while. Right. <laughs> so we might as well have a good time. So. Yeah, but it might be so good that you're going to have to call Brian Kilmeade and say, we're, we're preempting you because the banter has been so witty. We're just going to keep rolling. Yeah. Right to your out to lunch pro, uh, segment. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, Brian Kilme would be really disappointed to hear that, I'm sure. So, yeah. Well, how are you, Craig Pierce? Doing fine. Yeah, doing fine. How about you, Mark? I'm fine. Good. Hi, I have a question for you. Okay. That I've been meaning to ask for probably two or three years. Really? Yes. And uh, you know, I, you've you've given me the moniker King of Communications, which always makes me laugh. Uh, and I have always been wondering, all of your callers. Whether it's West Side Freddy or Dennis the Not So Young or yeah. uh, Crazy Kathy, yeah, do they come with their nicknames or do you assign them? <laughs> um, mostly I assign them. I, I think, um, yeah, um, like for Crazy Kathy, for instance. I mean, she. It's not too hard to figure out after a few of her phone calls that that's a good nickname for her. <laughs> <laughs> and she seems to, you know, be fine with it. Yeah, she's okay with it. Yeah. She's grown into her role, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Dennis D. Not So Young was based on Dennis D. Young from Yeah, Sticks. which is a delightful uh, twist on that one. Yeah. Um, I don't know. A few of them may have... Um, created their own nicknames but i think uh with time either me or someone else kind of came up with it so yeah Love it. yeah yeah so uh how's life in south elgin okay south elgin is going going well yeah it, it's so many projects going on simultaneously when was the police station supposed to be done because it's like come along so it's like sprouted <clears throat> out of the ground like it's a plant or a weed or something in the last uh, few months. And uh, it hasn't snowed that much. It hasn't been that cold this winter. So uh, construction has just continued all through the wintertime, right? Yeah, the, the mild winter has been a great boon to the production, uh, you know, being able to get that uh, building going. Yeah. It's, uh, so there's a lot of it that's ahead of schedule, maybe two weeks, three weeks ahead of schedule. It was anticipated open around, uh, you know, sometime late fall late October, November. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, there are certain things that, be, even though the progress was made, uh, the ordering of materials didn't necessarily, you know, wasn't available as quickly as... Uh, uh, the materials you know. didn't get here when, so for, as soon as they were ready. Right. And, and yeah. in some cases, such as pouring the concrete on the floor and the whole first floor, well, it, even though we've had warm weather, it wasn't consistently warm enough to, to do that, even when they were ready perhaps two weeks ago. So that's just taking place now. So, so there is a, there's been an enormous amount of progress on the exterior and, uh, uh, we're hoping that all the floors are poured within the, by the next week or two. Uh, the brick for the exterior, uh, was supposed to arrive April 1st and it sounds like that's not coming until April 8th. So, uh, so there's some things that are, um, you know, still right on schedule that might not allow us to speed up the final completion date uh, by as much as we would have yeah. been excited to do. Um, but it's it's really taking shape. It's an amazing transformation on a day-to-day -day basis. I know. I mean, if you don't go by there for a couple of weeks and then you go by there again, you're like, wow. Um, it's taken – it's like – 
grows by the day and um yeah it, it looks like it's uh the full structure is is pretty much there already yeah and uh you know it's not as if you just see one you know one or two guys out there working there's a there's an entire crew of people there all day every day and they're making progress you know even when we have had some uh, cold weather they're still figuring out something to continue to make progress so that's been great yeah um we just actually um put on our website uh for the veterans plaza which will be outside of the uh public Sa- safety center yeah april 11th is the last day to order uh engraved pavers and uh you can go to south uh slash paver and uh if you have if you are a veteran or your family member's a veteran or even if you live in south elgin and your family member who is a veteran lives outside and you want to honor that person uh, you can still get a paver. They're seventy-five dollars engraved, or you can donate seventy-five dollars for a veteran who can't afford it. Yeah, they're four by eight, and they include rank and name, branch of service, year served, and um, so the paver will be if you purchase it by the eleventh of April. It will be a part of the construction. It's this way, when they are put, putting that entire uh, patio area in, it'll be part of that if you order after april 11th we're going to do it annually where we'll just accumulate orders over the course of the year and then the following summer we'll have a contractor come out and replace uh you know blank pavers with new ones so uh, and if you order april 12 you know maybe we'll do what we can to get it in but if you order april 30th it'll probably go in the 2025 uh installation Mm. Okay, so that's what's happening. The Elgin, South Elgin Police Department going up in a hurry. And uh, spring is coming in a hurry, even though we're going to take a little step back tonight with a little bit of snow, I guess. But um, spring's coming in a hurry, and that means that uh, before too long, we're going to have the shows out at Panton Mill Park again this year. Yeah. After a banner year a year ago. It was a banner year, and we're expecting uh, another banner year this summer. I mean, we had we had real good luck with weather for the most part last summer. Yeah. Uh, in terms of no rain outs on Wednesday nights that I can even, I can't think of a, any rain out nights. Uh, we had a few the previous summer. And uh, we've added some uh, afternoon concerts. We did am- afternoon concerts in the past, but we've there's a, a couple additional ones this summer. Uh, and the ch- t- time has changed, so it coincides better with lunch hour. So last year was 11 a.m. to 12.30. This year it'll be 12 to 1.30. No, so perfect. we can attract people who just want to come down, eat their lunch, and uh, enjoy some live music. Yeah, and so, uh, man, we have the new Out to Lunch show on WRMN. Boom, concert yes, time. we've got a nice pavilion for you to set up. Yeah, we can carry the concert. Yeah. Right here on the radio station. I think that sounds awesome. That'd be awesome. Look at the. This is why the friendly voice of the Village show is beloved by thousands of people. <laughs> because just the brainstorming capacity that, that takes place. You know, I mean, that's what... <laughs> the, uh, in a way... Um, the lack of preparation time that occurs when we're not on the air <laughs> forces prep time to occur in the middle of the show sometimes. <laughs> not only with this show, but with a lot of things this I do. sounds a lot like the way I would justify cramming for a final exam. <laughs> it's like having a, having a meeting for your show during the show. Yes, yes. It's like why I chose to watch Monday Night Football instead of being ready for a test on Tuesday morning. Right. But if you get up 10 minutes earlier on Tuesday... All that stuff is right there at the top of your head. Well, if we don't continue with the Friendly Voice of the Village show, what we have talked about doing is just any time you want to talk about something, All you, right. you call, right? Yeah. Or you let me know something's going on in South Elgin. And we just do sporadic segments of the Friendly Voice of the Village. That's right. Instead of a once a month, you know, set spot. It keeps people on their toes. Yeah. It might pop up on a Thursday or a Tuesday or, you know, yeah. Yeah. I might show up at your campsite just to talk South Elgin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> and a little weird. <laughs> There's Craig Pierce again, honey. <laughs> uh, let's let him in. Uh, let's see what he's got to say this time. He's got some news about, uh, you know, some senior program. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to do some trivia today, but um, before we get to, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, before we get to it, I always, I'm, I always uh, like to hear your thoughts on Chicago Bears news. Mm. And so, because you follow the Bears, you're a big fan of uh, the NFL and the Bears and whatnot, and we've, we've talked about the Bears a lot in the past. And so, this is um, an interesting time for the Chicago yeah. Bears from the quarterback position standpoint. And um, I guess they've traded Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a sixth-round draft pick. Oh, boy. Yeah. Could yeah. Be, could be a fourth-round draft pick, I guess, if, Field, if Fields plays more than 50% of the snaps 
for the Steelers next year, which means he would steal the job from Russell Wilson and take over, which wouldn't surprise me. No, that wouldn't. It seems like he might be out of gas. Yeah. So it could happen, but uh, what do you think of the Bears' decision to do that, Craig? Boy, I, I'm a little torn. I, 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 I get the allure of the of Caleb Williams and the talent that everybody is raving about, and by no means am I an expert. But it does concern me that I feel like they have built such a solid team. Their defense was really good last year. Now they've added offensive weapons. They've done a lot of things where they should be really good this year. And I just feel like there's so much pressure now on, on a rookie quarterback Yeah, with all of that that maybe the guy who's been pretty good going into his fourth year might be really good this year. And I know he, I know he hasn't lived up to all the expectations. How could he? <laughs> right. He's had so many different coaches and so yeah. many different coordinators. And it, it, Yes, exactly. And I just feel like, wow, are they just – are they hamstringing their own potential this year for what might be good in a few years, but then some of these other guys that are ready to go now might not be on the team because of contracts or injury. I mean, and, and plus they're putting all their eggs in the basket of one guy who might get hurt. Yeah. If they could have, they could accumulate t- tons of draft picks for the next few years. In a way, it's like, to me... Yeah, first of all, you, I, you're always taking if you have an up and if you have a guy who's got some talent at the quarterback position who's taken his lumps, who now is going to have some talent to work with, and he's going to be in his fourth year in the NFL, and you're replacing him with a guy that's going to be in the NFL for the very first time with a lot of pressure on him, you're automatically taking a, at least a small step back right there, right? Right. Right. I mean, if you had a lame quarterback with no future and you were switching to a rookie quarterback, that's different. But Field still has his future in front of him, and he's taken all his lumps to put himself in a position to be successful finally. And he's proven to be pretty durable, too, for all that running and everything that he does. I mean, I know he hurt his hand last year, but, you know, he's back and he's playing. I, I just feel like, boy, this, it, this, this could not – this could be a – a disaster. <laughs> We've had a lot of quarterbacks that have be, been big names, and they've turned out to be busts in the NFL. Uh, years ago, I remember hearing Dale Talon, the old general manager of the Blackhawks, who drafted Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves. But he was a, a, a Blackhawk player as a rookie, and he came into the NHL the year the Blackhawks let Bobby Hull go to the upstart WHL. And they gave Dale Talon, a rookie, Bobby Hull's number. The, one of the greatest players in hockey history. Wow. And he said that as a rookie, he's wearing, at, on home games, he's wearing this number nine jersey, and people are, like, booing him and stuff because he's not Bobby Hall. He's a kid. And how much pressure that put on him. And that was in the early 70s. No social media, no, you know, all the scrutiny in sports media. If Caleb Williams comes out and has a bad first half in his first game, fans are going to be all over him. Yeah. And, they, and then how is he going to respond? I don't know. It just seems like it's a risky move. As I said to George Rawlinson when we were talking about it, um, it's like you're trading. It's like you're trading three future draft picks for a rookie quarterback in a way. Because if they would just trade that pick instead of taking Caleb Williams, not only have you traded Justin Fields, uh, you're trading a, a starting quarterback in the NFL. You're also basically trading a couple of more draft picks. By keeping Williams. Yeah. I mean, so you have F- Fields going into his fourth year, and then the team you've already built up, plus other draft picks, plus who knows what you might trade Caleb Williams for, like if they trade it into the Commanders, let's say. And the Commanders have the type of season next year like Carolina had last year. Yeah. Then you might have the number one pick in the draft <laughs> exactly. again next year. And, and you might be able to trade that for another slew of first-round picks, and for the next three or four years you could have two or three first-round picks. And just to think of the dynasty, and I think that other than the Chiefs and the Patriots, most times in the NFL, your window of winning is pretty small because of injuries and all that. And it's like, I think they might be giving away one of those years this year with a complete rookie. And then, you know, yeah. 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 I feel like they could have built a dynasty that would have perpetuated itself with all those picks. I, you got me believing in that too. Yeah. Uh, the more we talk about it, the more I'm convinced it might be, might be a big mistake. <laughs> they should have called us. <laughs> if they were only listeners to the Friendly Voice of the Village show. Ryan Poles just doesn't know where to turn. 
In times of doubt. Yes, you should have been tuning in to WRMN on the third Thursday of each month. Yeah. Okay, back to South Elgin now. <laughs> so um, we, you had some guests, but uh, it turned out that they couldn't make it. So we kind of uh, put in a makeshift plan for today's show that yes. includes trivia, right? It does, uh, with, a, with a bit of a twisted concept here. Okay, twisted concept. <laughs> we like that. They, that sounds like a band that we would have on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Twisted concept. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so what I have, and I'll show the camera, I have five Butera gift cards. Five. So whether you Man, are a, a shopper in South Elgin or Elgin, they're still easy access. And they're each worth $5. I'm going to ask the first trivia question. If you win, I'll give you another question for another $5 card. If you get all five right, you get all five cards. This is a cool game. How about it? So you have five this $5. This is revolutionizing the game show industry. <laughs> five $5 cards to the Butera store of your choice, either South Elgin or Elgin. Yep. And um, if you answer the first question, you get a shot at question number two, and you'll be at the $10 level. And you can keep on rolling. You can win all five cards. Yeah, walk out with a $25 shopping spree. Yeah. And so, and if you are wrong, then we just move to the next person that wants to take a shot at card number one, and I guess they get the next opportunity. So we can just kind of keep this going kind of continuously throughout the rest of the show. Right. And if, uh, you know, if, if there's just not enough people that want to win Putera cards, well, we'll hold them when I'm back here in April with uh, Sherry's Senior Showcase show. Yeah. You're going to be in next month with Sherry. Yep. On her program on April the 16th. Can't get rid of me that fast, man. No. You're going to start <laughs> popping up on everybody else's show. <laughs> so everybody, uh, I decided, we decided before the show today that um, everybody that's in pri trivia jail right now can be freed. Mm. It's a get out of jail free Amnesty. Card today. <laughs> All right. For this show only. Everybody's eligible. Okay. At 847-931-1410. If you want to give us a call right now, we're going to ask the first trivia question, 847-931-1410. And what's the, is it a South Elgin? It is. The first question is not only a South Elgin question, it's a question for our astute and longtime listeners who tune in to this particular show. They'll have a head start on this answer. Okay. All right. Because on the Friendly Voice of the Village show, much like in the 1980s when good old Uncle Lair and little Tommy would do animal stories. Yeah. We've had our own share of animal stories featured here on the show. Which of these four were not featured okay. on our show? All right. Number one, bass. Bass, okay. <laughs> Number two, baboons. Okay. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> <laughs> Beagles. All right. And number four, bulls. And I'm talking the animal, not we didn't have Michael Jordan on the show. Okay. So bass, baboons, beagles, or bulls. Bass, baboons, beagles, or bulls. Three of which were highlighted significantly on an episode of Friendly Voice of the Village. Okay. I like this game. <laughs> Eight four seven nine three one fourteen ten. Uh, I love creative trivia questions. <laughs> uh, we have Steve Thorne on line one. We have uh, Brian on line two. And we have good old Bob Balsamo on line three. Oh, all right. Got uh, Deborah, it looks like, on line four. So the lines are jammed wow. to get this game underway today. People looking for a shopping spree. Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll the die, the, the die here. And a five and a six is a do-over in the radio world. <laughs> and we, I've been on, I've been rolling six and th sixes and threes a lot lately. Hmm. All right, lands on a three. Good old Bob. Oh, gets to go first this morning. Hey, Bob. Hey guys. How are you? Hello, Bob. I, uh, didn't catch all of the clue. Okay, go ahead, Craig. So the so the clue was which of these four animals has never been featured on the Friendly Voice of the Village show. So three of them have been talked about in great length, and one has not. And the, the answer is uh, one is, uh, or A would be bass, B is baboons, C is beagles, and D is bulls. <laughs> yeah. What was the last one? Bulls. Bulls, like B-U-L-L. -L. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, there's a lot of bull on this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That would have been a good drop in. I'll take the third one, whatever it was. The third one was Beagles. Beagles. I'll go with Beagles. Um, Barking. No, we talked about the big rescue operation about the Beagles uh, with Anderson Humane's CEO, Dean Daubert. So, uh, ah. oh, oh, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Good try, though. Thank you, Bob. All right, Bob goes down. He's a multiple winner on the show before, though. Yes, and uh, a guest. <laughs> he's been a winner, a guest. Could a be caller. A... <laughs> he does it all. He's good old Bob. All right. Now we roll it. It's a number one, which brings it back to Steve Thorne. He wants to go to Butera. All right. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Me. How are you doing? Well, I'm the, I, as much as I listen all the time, I just don't recall all of them, so I'm going to have to take a guess of uh, baboons. Baboons, Steve Thorne says. And I have a winner. That's a winner? That's a winner. All right. Until yeah, until yeah. two minutes ago, we have never mentioned the word baboons, I believe, on any episodes of our show. I honestly couldn't remember whether it was baboons or bulls. Mm. We've the, done bulls before? The bulls was we had the runaway bull on Randall Road that we had our community service officer at the time who was on the hunt and had to track down that bull that was romping its way down Randall Road. That's right. <clears throat> for putting, her. She put her, <laughs> her life on the line for a bull that was avoiding traffic on Randall. All right, so Steve Thorne's in the ball game. He's, yeah. He's $5 in to Butera. Uh, and by the way, the other one, Bass, we had our uh, old public works uh, guy and fishing expert, uh, Kevin Summers. Right, I remember that. Bass. That was great. Yeah, he was a great, great guest. So Thorin's going to Butera. He's got question number one, but he has a chance to right. to rack up some gift certificates here, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Time for question okay. number two. Question number two. Gail Borden Public Library just celebrated its 150th birthday earlier this week. Curious how old is the South Elgin branch of the Gail Borden Public Library? Okay. A, three years old. B, five years old. C, seven years old. And D, 10 years old. Three, five, seven, or 10. Those are your choices, Steve. Uh, I'm going to say 10. 10 years old. Uh, not quite. Uh, Darn. The, the run ends at five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can get some strawberries or something, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Plus tag. Uh, you know, you know, our, the proud sponsor of the Friendly Voice of the Village show uh, was just at Butera this morning on the way here. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> and I did notice they had Roma tomatoes on a good sale. So you can get about four or five pounds of Roma tomatoes for the five. For five bucks? Yeah. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, that I was hoping. <laughs> well, all right, Steve, I'll hold the card for you tomorrow. Okay, buddy? Thank you so much, and good show. Thank you both for what you do. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Stevie T. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. All right, Steve Thorne is $5 richer than he was grocery-wise before he called. How about that? Well, we got three other callers. Should we just keep on going we with this? We can try another one, yeah. How many questions did you bring? I brought five questions. Oh. So Steve burned two, so. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, if we have anything left over, we might just have to save that for the uh, Sherry, f first shift Sherry. For a Sherry uh, Senior uh, Showcase. Sherry Senior yeah. Showcase, yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I could always come up with some questions if I need to. Okay. I have a plethora available over uh, here. Oh, plethora. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's just stay with it, I guess, for a minute, because I still have three callers on the line here. All right. And uh, we got Brian, got Unknown Caller, and we have Crazy Kathy on the line right now. One line open if you want to try to get in <clears throat> with question number three featuring South Elgin. Are we, am I doing the question or are you waiting for another caller? We do the question. Uh, good old Bob's going to try again. He's he's the other caller. Oh, okay, all right. You can keep on trying again. Don't be a quitter. All right. Okay. So the uh, next question. This is for those who have a, a good deal of historic knowledge. Um, this it, I, the name of the longest. Uh, the name of the owner of the Fox Roller Rink who owned it longer than anybody else. She owned it from 1946. To 1971. <clears throat> 25 years. Fox Roller Rink, uh, you'll see it on 31. It's uh, in a bit of a disrepair these days. Yeah. But uh, in its heyday, it was quite a gathering spot. Yeah. 
Okay, so okay. This, this person owned it for 25 years? Yes. Okay. Uh, and and uh, just looking for her name. A, Peaches Williams. Okay. B, Cherry Pittsfield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> C, Apple Johnson. Yeah. And D, <laughs> cracking yourself. Uh, it might be a giveaway. This might not be the answer. <laughs> okay. I need a banana. I need a banana. Okay. Yeah. I think she was a dancer here in downtown Elgin one time. Yeah. No, that was Nana Banana. It's, it's something that I say uh, every morning. It was uh, <laughs> Nana's sister, <laughs> Nana Banana, who used to dance, I guess, here in downtown Elgin when there was a, uh, like, half strip club down here at one wow. time way back in the way back room. i had no idea i was gonna bring that topic up. right but anita may have owned the roller rink while anita banana while nana was yeah. over here dancing so uh eight four seven nine three one fourteen ten let's roll the die again here oh gosh it turns sideways <laughs> it's Ooh. stuck in the hole all right here we go all right, let me roll it again so bob's on line one now brian's on line two unknown on three and crazy kathy on four okay it's a six. I've been rolling sixes a lot mm. lately. Yeah. So we do a do-over. It's a one. Oh, good old Bob <laughs> is back in the house for a second try this morning. Bob lived in South Elgin, has lived in South Elgin a long time. Right. So he, he may know the answer to this he one. He might even know the, actually know the person. All right, Bob, uh, you're back, buddy. Are you ready for yeah. another try? Indeed, I know this one. It's Peaches. He's absolutely right. Peaches Williams? Yes. Right. yes. Right. It's not Cherry I, Pittsfield? I, I think she's, she's some sort of relation to uh, our former police chief and uh, village administrator Jones. Oh. Is that right? I had no idea. Huh. I, think so. I can remember, uh, believe it or not, I was there frequently, not necessarily to skate at all times, <laughs> but uh, the most famous thing that I can remember is the, the uh, person coming on saying, Clear the floor, please. Clear the floor, please. <laughs> Back when Bob was on roller skates. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Well, uh, you're correct, Bob. So you're uh, you're $5 in <clears throat> on... Uh, Love again. All yeah. right. Now you get another shot at get, it. You get got another question for you. Yeah. All right. Um, the Friendly Voice of the Village show. Uh, the question is, how many... How? Guess which one is the closest to the number of episodes there have been of the Friendly Voice of the Village show. You, do you know how many, Craig? Approximately. Okay. There's a couple that have been, you know, canceled or whatever during COVID and all that. Uh, so. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> a. Uh, go ahead. A is more than fifty. B is more than forty. C is more than thirty. And D is more than 20. Hmm. How many? I'd say more than 30. More than 30, says good old Bob. I guess technically that's correct, but that's not <laughs> the closest to the total. Yeah. Okay, so Bob uh, comes up empty on that one. Uh... Hey, said I, said I. <laughs> Bob, Bob, we've got a $5 certificate to Butera for you, okay? Thank you, my friend. Okay. Thank you. Take care. All right, Bob's one for three today, but still good enough for a $5 certificate. How about that? For Butera. Okay, um, so I don't know. What do you want to do? One, we have uh, how many cards left? We still have three cards. I have three cards. We? We could, I mean, we could just make this like the bonus one and just give them all to, to the winner. All right, one more one. try? One more try. One more try. we got three cards left. You can win up to $15 in shopping at Butera with this last trivia question today. At 847-931-1410, we have two callers on the line, two lines open. What's the question, Craig? The question is going to be very easy for those who have been listening to WRMN for a long time. Okay. Because back in 1965, Ooh. Nancy, the Nancy Rohr radio show on WRMN had a South Elgin news segment at 1215. Really? And it was sponsored by a South Elgin business. Huh. Which one? A, and these are all, by the way, all 
businesses that existed in South Elgin in the mid 1960s. These are no crazy Craig Pierce inventions. No, these are, this is not <laughs> Anita Banana or Sherry Pittsfield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, I was watching Seinfeld last night while I was uh, coming up with those names. You were? If you want to have like a, a picture in your mind, <laughs> sitting in my little chair. Okay. All right. So this, these are the sponsors for the Nancy Roar Radio Show. Which one is real? Uh, <clears throat> a is Woody's Cab Service. Okay. B, Fox Valley Typewriter. All right. C, Ed's Barbershop. And D, Washer's Appliances. Hmm. All South Elgin businesses in the mid-60s, but which one sponsored the Nancy Roar Radio Show South Elgin segment? Nancy Rohr Radio Show in the 19, 1965 yeah. here on WRMN. You know more about the history than I do. <laughs> I never knew that occurred. All right, 847 Tim, we got Mary Johnson on line one. That's uh, Meaningless Facts Mary. We have uh, Rosemary and Joe on line two. Unknown on line three. And Crazy Kathy on line four. And I'm about to roll a six. Let's see if that's true. No, it's not true. It's a one again. A one. One gives Meaningless Facts Mary a chance at some Butera grocery shopping. <laughs> this could be right up a Meaningless Facts. Uh... This, this, unfortunately, this is one of those Meaningless Facts I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I am going to say, run them, run them by me quick, because I the one I know, I run them, yeah, just give okay. me a quick. Woody's Cab Service, Fox Valley Typewriter, Ed's Barbershop, and Washer's Appliance. I'm going to say Fox Valley Typewriter. Fox Valley Typewriter says meaningless facts, Mary. Mm, sorry about that one. Survey says uh, one, oh, no. <laughs> one meaningless okay. fact bye that bye. you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mary. All right, Mary goes down. We got Rosemary and Joe, unknown caller, and Crazy Kathy. But the one keeps winning out here. It's unfair to the rest of them. Life's unfair, <laughs> though, so this is a good lesson in life. It's a one again. <laughs> it's a one again, but this time one would be two because uh, someone just got in a little late on line one. So let's give Rosemary and Joe a shot All out right, here. All right, sounds good. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the show. Oh, hang yep. on. Here you go. I'm sorry. You're on. Okay. Yeah, hi. Hi, Rosemary. Uh, we want, yeah, uh, Joe's guest is the uh, washers. Washers Appliances yeah. is the yeah. guess. Yeah. Joe could also be called Meaningless Facts Joe because he is right. Yeehaw! Hey. Holy cow. <laughs> Way to go, Joe. Yeehaw! All right. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I've been to washers quite a few times to get parts. And, and now it is the municipal annex for the uh, village of South Elgin, that building. Wow. Yeah, about yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Municipal annex, and that's and a washer still works in there. And right, yes, yes, that's exactly. where Kim Washer works. Kim Washer works there. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so they have a chance to go for fifteen dollars, but first you got to get to ten. Oh, we're out. Oh, of that's questions. it. They win fifteen. <laughs> they win fifteen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. wow. Lucky guess, huh? Great. Good. Okay. With seven dollars fifty cents per person. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, Rosemary and Joe. I guess the fifteen bucks to Buteras. Goes to okay. you. Right. Thank and we, you. And we had visited our cage last night. It was very good. It was very good. Good. Good to, glad to hear it. What'd you guys have? Uh, what'd you have to eat? Rosemary had a chicken salad. Uh, chicken. What would they call it? A chicken uh, black and chicken salad. Yeah. And then and I had the uh, big hamburger. What a size of a hamburger that was. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like mm. a half pounder. Nice. Yeah. And right. the split pea soup was delicious. Nice. Along with the salad. RK's Route 31, South Elgin. Good partners yeah, of ours here South on the radio. Elgin. Yeah, yeah, and Rosemary and Joe bring their Mustang out to uh, John the Polaro's car shows. Oh, to the cruise. Oh, I, what, what, uh, what color and year is your Mustang? So I can look for it this summer. It's a blue convertible, 1970 blue convertible. All right. Yeah. There you go. Uh, All right, Rosemary yeah. and Joe, I'll try to remember to put these in the prize closet for you. <laughs> okay, thanks right. a lot. Good day. Take care. Thank you. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Rosemary and Joe, last time they won a prize, I didn't get it in the prize closet fast enough, and they showed up. Oh. It was an RK's gift card, by the way. <laughs> it was not ready for them when they were here. <laughs> That's why they had to wait until yesterday to go and have their burger and yeah. salad. 
All right, so uh, five bucks for Thorin, five for good old Bob, and 15 for Rosemary and Joe at Butera. Thanks to today's sponsor, Craig Pierce. I have something here that not only ties into our previous sports talk, but also one of our trivia questions. Okay. Um, do you know that there is a South Elgin resident who is expected to be a very high draft pick in the NFL draft this year? In the NFL draft? Yeah. Okay. No, uh, I didn't know that. He's uh, he is a uh, University of Minnesota uh, plays safety. Tyler Newbin. Okay. Is uh, anticipated to be a late first round, early second round pick. There are some people who have tied him to the Bears, although the Bears have picked up a lot of backfield guys. So I don't know if. They're still looking. But, yeah. Um, and his younger brother actually plays running back at the University of Minnesota and is highly touted as well. Tyler Newman. So did he go to South Elgin High School? <laughs> he went to St. Charles North High School, but his coach when he was a little kid was Steve Washer. Oh, is that right? Yeah. He coached him. Huh. Probably taught him everything he knows. So Tyler Newman. So remember that name in the future. Um, either uh, if you're an NFL fan or uh, when the Friendly Voice of the Village show is on in the future when we have trivia questions about the past. Yeah, maybe we can have Tyler Newbin come down and say hi. Yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe this summer he'll be just hanging out in South Elgin and coming to a sun, uh, afternoon concert. That'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Little known facts about <laughs> South Elgin. Um, well, there's a few things you do have on the list that you want to share about South Elgin news this week, right, Craig? Yes. Uh, a quick shout out to the uh, U46 uh, Blue Stars, their Special Olympics uh, basketball team. They, uh, the junior team, won the silver medal in the state uh, basketball tournament, and then they had two younger teams that placed in fourth place. Uh, Eli Galanka is a South Elgin resident who also plays on that team, and uh, good job by those. Uh, young uh, shooters and dribblers and rebounders. Right. All right. Congratulations. And, um, yeah, good job. Blue Stars Special Olympics basketball teams. Yes. And, uh, and by the way, you know, it's March Madness uh, for college basketball fans, but this, yeah. there's also something going on called Maker's Madness, and it is to determine the coolest thing made in Illinois. And uh, one of the final 16 products that are on that list is uh, made right in South Elgin by Hoffer Plastics. Hmm. It is the uh, it is the eco-friendly and tamper-proof tab that goes on to like juice pouches, and they're manufactured by the millions in South Elgin. Really? Yeah. Not uh, glamorous, but makes your juice safe. Yes, and uh, okay. it uses like 40 some percent less plastic than competitors versions huh um and if you go to makers madness il.com makers all one word makers madness il.com you can uh you can go to the bracket and see other things that are manufactured in south elgin or in uh illinois and uh vote for them they had 200 products made in illinois that were the uh, the nominees that got narrowed down to 16 it was a pretty impressive list. Really? Yeah, some hmm. really cool things being made all over the state. And I got to say that the Hoffer Plastics, um, they, they drew a tough bid. They're going up against an unmanned aer aerial refueling plane that can land on aircraft carriers without a pilot. No kidding. Yeah, that's a pretty big change. It's a, you're talking about, you know, tiny little cap for juice... Uh, Pouches versus an <laughs> unmanned aerial refueling plane. Yeah, I'm sorry, Hoffer Plastics. <laughs> that's a that's a tough matchup. I think you might go down in the that's finals uh, here. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it, the the airplane thing's too cool. It is pretty cool. There's all. I mean, in the final sixteen, there's also a uh, like a rocket booster. Uh, I mean, and in, in, in the whole two hundred. I mean, there's just some really cool things that are that are built here. So, uh, I, just out of curiosity. If you're in, you know, whether you want to vote or not, go to makersmadnessil.com and there's some, some nifty stuff that makes you think, yeah, there's a lot of cool things being built here. That is cool. I'll have to check out that website, makersmadnessil.com. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, as a heads up, uh, the footbridge at Seba Park uh, was damaged a couple of days ago. It is the one uh, right along the river near the old washer appliance building, uh, which is now our municipal annex. Uh, there's a, a, a little footbridge that crosses over a little creek area, and it uh, it suffered some some damage, and it might be a couple of weeks before that's up. But you can just walk around the building and reconnect to the uh, to the path. 
Oh, a car hit it? It was uh, it was a maintenance vehicle. Oh, really? It was not a village maintenance vehicle, so I'm not going to throw anybody under the maintenance vehicle, but it was a young driver working for a place that would maintain the Fox River Trail ah. who went a little too far and... Yeah, it's you know it's just a plastic decking bridge like you know you might have on a home deck and it yeah didn't support a big pickup truck. Oh, okay. So that's out of a commission for a couple of weeks. Yes, yeah, we're getting the rebuilding that. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. I guess while we're on the topic of the Forest Preserve and Fox River Trail, uh, something that I learned that right when I got back from our last show in February was that John J. Dewar passed away. He was. Uh, you know the village of the South Elgin Forest Preserve is named after him. He uh, worked for the Forest Preserve District for I think 19 years and was the head of the um, Forest Preserve District for a few years uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, and uh, just thought we'd pass along a little condolences to the family there for the namesake park. Yeah, in, uh, South Elgin. John J. Doerr. Passing away recently. Yes. About two minutes left in the show. Um, what's going on with the pooched egg hunt weather update? Yeah, the weather update is uh, it's supposed to be pretty lousy on Saturday morning. And uh, so we'll probably be, if there's any change to the timing or uh, and, you know, or a rescheduled date, we'll be posting that on our website and on social media tomorrow. We'll check the weather and see how things are looking. Saturday morning, um, I think it's going to be cold. But I, yeah. I think it's going to be dry. Yeah. Will so, they still do it if it's dry and cold? Yeah, I guess in all, some of it depends on, you know, if we get much accumulation of snow and if things are soggy and all that. But I don't think the dogs will mind, but maybe the people bringing the dogs will be a little disappointed. Yeah. And all so, right. And yeah. uh, let's see. You're going to be on with Sherry next month, right? Yeah, we've got. Uh, so that'll be Tuesday, April 16th. Uh, we'll be talking about the Senior Health and Wellness Fair. That'll take place. At Elgin Community College, April 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Give you all the details. Plus, you can go to southelgin.com slash agefriendly and learn all about the event. There's about 70 different vendors. There's uh, health screenings. There are guest speakers. And it's free. And there's refreshments. And uh, you'll be able to talk to people who represent social service agencies uh, who help uh, seniors throughout northern King County. So you'll be on to talk more about that Tuesday, April the 16th, but the event itself is on April the 26th. Yes. A senior health and wellness fair going yep. on. Friday, it's in Building E, right off of Spartan Boulevard there, one of the first buildings that you see when you get onto campus. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks, Craig, for the update today. I think the trivia game was kind of fun. It was. Thank you for, uh, thanks for everything, Mark. I've really enjoyed, by the way, more than 50 shows. More than 50? Yeah. About 55-ish. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens moving forward with yeah. this. Uh, maybe we'll just have an occasional show, but maybe not have it set on a specific date all the that, time. That works. Okay. Sounds great. All right, Craig, take care. Talk okay. to you soon. Thanks, Mark. All right, and we got all the great shows at Pant Mill Park coming up soon. That will be as soon as the lineup comes out on the bands. We'll let you know about that. Probably have Craig Pierce back on to talk about it when that occurs. Coming up next, uh, two hours of the Brian Kilmeade Show, and then I'll be back for Out to Lunch this afternoon with Sonar from noon until 2. Keep it right here on WRMN.